Welcome back. Hold on, let me just get my game open. Hi, also my cat is currently on my desk. I know she literally just laid down so you can't see her, but like, cat. So, if you see some like ears pop up or a tail or something, don't be alarmed. It, it's her desk, so. <laughs> You're painting your nails during stream today? Oh, that'll be fun. I need to paint my nails tonight. That's my plan, so. I can't believe you're abandoning me on my birthday. I know, Tilly. It's really, it's really terrible of me. Oh, that is a catless cat cam. Sorry. <laughs> I had the, it's a chair cam. I had it on from yesterday. She's here though, instead of there. Oh, there you go. I told you. I told you I had a cat. <laughs> hey, Mason. Thank you for the 15 months. Oh my God. Uh, and birthday, Ra and Mara. Thank you for the resubs. 56 months, Mara. We got cats are great five with the 24 months. Cats are great five. Snappy, did you hear that? They think you're great. And they said it 24 times, two years straight. <laughs> Ruby Tuesday, Diana, Summer, Alyssa, and Kieran, and yikes, it's Jaden. Thank you all for the subs too. Okay. Let's get loaded into this save file so we can game. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm your favorite Simmer. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Thanks for coming by the stream too. I'm excited to see you. This will be fun. Your Sims had a kitchen fire? Of course they did. Classic, classic, of course. All right, anyway, we're back. Oh, I have a unicorn. Oh my God, actually, I forgot about this. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about this. That's really exciting. <laughs> when we last played, we, um, we, our horse had a baby and then I turned it into a unicorn. So we have that to look forward to. <laughs> look at its little baby tiny horn. You can't really see it that well cause it's only small, but that's so cute. Okay, Snappy, I can't see the chat anymore. There you go, she laid down. <laughs> she laid down. Forgot about the horse too. Yeah, this is the thing. When you have a baby like right at the end of a, a stream or something, it's easy to forget about them. I hate to say it, I'm just being honest. It, it, it can be easy to um, not remember. I also have a giant goat in this save file. So we have that to look forward to as well. <laughs> Dan Simmer and Earth to Macy and Krampus and Stell and, and uh, Sweet and Molly and Busy and Mystic and Dog Shampoos. Uh, we got catastrophic, a catastrophic, catastrophic. Oh my God, I can't. It's cat underscore astrophic is their name. <laughs> I just couldn't read it for a second there. I knew what I was trying to say. It just wasn't like working. Is it a glitch? No, no, it's not a glitch. You can size up um, if you want to. You can size up goats and sheep because they're just like objects in games. So you can click on them and size them up. It's really easy. You like, just like how you size up an item with the bracket keys, you can do it with a, a goat, so. That is a perfectly normal sized goat, okay? I don't know what you're all talking about. That is a perfectly, completely normal sized goat. Did I not? Oh my God, I have to buy another vet treat for my cat. Hold on, let me go to the vet. Speaking of the vet, Frankie went to the vet today because she had to get her booster shot for her feline leukemia vaccine. And she did a good job. She was she was only a little bit scared in the car <laughs> on the way there. And then she was fine out of the vet. And then on the way home, she was fine. But the way there was a little bit, she wasn't loving that, which I understand. That's scary. <laughs> um, who's Frankie? You have a new cat? Okay, we'll talk about it again. Every, literally every like two seconds, we're gonna talk about this. I'm sorry, chat. Um, let me bring it up. Okay, so me and my sister found three four-week-old kittens in the sewer last weekend. Here's one of them. Um, and this is their mom, who I also found. And they're all strays, and they're currently in my house. So, I am fostering them. <laughs> uh, wait, cancer, what? No, it's a, it's a vaccine, Bailey. It's a vaccine. Um, for feline leukemia, is a, which she obviously had no vaccines when we found her from the sewer. And so she's been getting her vaccines um, and she had to get the booster shot for it. So how is Snap doing with them? She does not know they are here. <laughs> they are closed in the room. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you guys this, I'm so sorry if you're just tuning in, you're probably gonna hear me say this exact same spiel like literally every 20 minutes for the entire stream. Um, so again, I found three four week old kittens in a sewer last weekend. I guess they're five weeks old now. I also found their mom. Vets think she's about one or two years old. Don't know exactly, it's a stray. Um, I don't know if I'm keeping them. They're my sewer cats. I don't know, I'm fostering them. 
Snap obviously has not met them yet. Gonna keep that it that way because that's too much stress for all of them involved. <laughs> um, I don't have any more answers for you. We do have a chat command that answers all these questions also. Um, but anyway, anyway. So that's my life update. <laughs> that is my life update for you. But yeah, Frankie went to the vet to get her booster shot today. So they actually all went to the vet, but it was Frankie's appointment. <laughs> it was Frankie's appointment. Um, what was I doing? Oh, the vet. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I was bringing my sim to the vet. Okay, Kaylee and Rusher and L and Ernie and Giant and Chuck and Plantface and Missy and, and Therapist and everybody, thank you for the subs. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, how are the kittens in the car? They don't really react or care. Um, they kind of just vibed. They, they have, I've obviously been in the car a couple times now because they went to and from the vet the first time the day we found them and then from my parents' house to my house and now to the vet again and they, they don't really care. They, they like were fine. They were kind of like sleeping in their carrier. So that's good. <laughs> that is a, that is a major plus. I would much prefer them not be scared. So that is a win. Um, what snap can't see, can't hurt her, I guess, even though she really smell or hear them. I don't, so I don't think that she can hear them because she doesn't really hear that well. Um, snap is getting kind of old. She doesn't really hear that well. She could probably smell them, but she hasn't reacted at all. Like I, I put up a baby gate um, in the hallway by the door to the room that they're in to like have a secondary barrier because I didn't really want her to like show up and like stick her paw under the door. I just feel like it's gonna be too much stress for them. Like I think that like the kittens will be stressed, the mom will be stressed, Snap will be stressed. Like there's just no, there's no need for that, right? So I put the baby gate up and I put the doors closed obviously. Um, and she hasn't, she doesn't go there. Like she hasn't tried to get in there. She doesn't care. Um, Snap hasn't gone anywhere near their room, so um, that's good. I mean, <laughs> I, I would prefer that she didn't, but uh, everybody's asking constantly, and I'm like, I, she hasn't noticed or cared. Like, maybe she does know, but doesn't care. I don't think so, though. I think she just doesn't know, um, which is good, because <laughs> there's no, there's no point in uh, undergoing that stress. Obviously, if we do decide to keep one of them, like, then we can introduce them slowly and stuff, but for now, like, there's no need to put them through that, you know? Um, there's no need to, I'll be stressed, they'll be stressed, like, it's just not worth it, so. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway. Pet, good to know. Pet, I haven't talked to this cat in a while. I haven't talked to the cat in a while, so I need to focus. Um, make sure we try and befriend them. <laughs> Can horses get fixed, like in the in the game, Glittery? Uh, I don't think so. They don't have like, you know how cats and dogs have like a heat cycle and stuff in The Sims 4? They don't really do that in The Sim in the Sims 4 with the horses. So I don't, you don't really need to worry about that in this game. So, do I still have the, ti the tiny sheep? Yeah, somewhere, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know that I can click on it in the relationship panel. I just prefer to look for the tiny sheep myself. I find it kind of fun. We're looking for a sheep that's a, about like this big. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I saw the tiny sheep. <laughs> anyway, is the giant goat functional? Yeah, they, it, works the same. Obviously the animations kind of clip a little bit and are a little bit weird, um, but yeah, it works the same as a regular one does. <laughs> that is a tiny sheep. Yeah, I made the sheep tiny and the goat big. <laughs> hey, Krista and Christine and Fog and Macklin and Moon River. Uh, we got Christelle and Soy and Kaylee and Rusher and Elle and Ernie and Giant Snail. Oh, Giant Snail, I have a giant goat. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you all for the subs. Um, What's the difference between the normal Discord role and the clown one? Oh my god, well goody, the clown one is a million points <laughs> versus the 80,000 points that the, the normal one is. <laughs> so the clown one is a giant, giant, giant flex is the difference. Um, oh! Anyway. <laughs> yeah, the shadow, anytime that you size up something like that, like the, 
like the goats or even if you have the things that are animated at all, like maybe a fountain or something, the animations stay the same, the shadow stays the same, and then the object itself sizes up. Um, and so at the, at the goat and sheep are quite funny because its shadow is still tiny. And then like if I were to have my sim come try and milk this goat, it would milk like the tiny goat. So it would like stand under it basically, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but that's just how it works. Obviously they're not gonna, you, you can't make like a new shadow variant for every single thing ever. It's just not like a good idea. So <laughs> it's not a good idea. You went on a nice day with Izzy Fabulous. Okay, good. That's lovely. That's lovely. Okay, then you can take a shower too. Poorly decorated. <sighs> Frankly, that is actually like, that's insulting. I worked hard on this. I put a lot of effort into this and that is really, really mean of you. Wow. Wow. That, that is just unbelievable. You should be ashamed. I'm gonna go enter some contests with that horse. <laughs> Was he in the empty house? I don't think so. I don't know. He's rude is, is what he is. Does he hate the colors? I don't think they react to the colors and I didn't give him a preference for style. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Frog and Thay and Anastasia and Fuckspace and Megan, thank you for the subs, everybody. You spent two days on a building your sim thought every room was poorly decorated. That is insulting. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that. Okay, I wanted to check quickly because in the competitions, I have won a master competition for almost all of them. I have not won one for Western Pleasure yet, but Maybe I'll go enter it now, so we can start getting up to the master level. You made a Disney castle and all the princesses hated their rooms? Oh, that's devastating. Also, Dark and Stormy and Cryptid, thank you both for the subs. I appreciate that. You got an ad with Zendaya riding a horse? Well, that feels like extremely appropriate, actually, considering the recent release of the horse pack. Wow. <laughs> also, hey Nina, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We are currently um, playing a little uh, save file where I started out with zero simoleons and I've been trying to get rich uh, with various things from the horse pack. So like the nectar stuff and from doing horse competitions. Um, this is my sim, his name is Justin Guy. He's just a guy. Uh, and this is my horse, Charlie. <laughs> You can't enter a competition because it says your horses aren't on the lot, but they are. Oh, that's weird. Maybe try and like leave and come back or like reload and see if that maybe helps. Cause that happens sometimes. That's pretty weird though. I don't know why that's happening. I want this horse. What about other Let's Play Ustream on release? I don't know, Fern, I haven't played that in like a week. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've been doing this mostly uh, and building and stuff, so. Um, Zanaya, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate that. Oh, the horse is peeing. Yikes. <laughs> we have two romance interests. What did I miss? Well, I mean, I wouldn't really count this guy because here's the thing. He's, this is the mysterious rancher in the words of the game. <gasps> Wait for it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Anyway, anyway. Um. The, he's he's the mysterious rancher and so you can't actually invite him out anywhere So I started dating him and stuff, but I, I literally can't call him up Doesn't let me so I decided to get a new boyfriend. His name is Riley. I found him at the bar um, And that's what well, we aren't actually dating him yet, but we're that's kind of what we're working on is because um, We've been abandoned by our first boyfriend so Anyway Devastating, truly. All right, well, we can try and get this skill up then. 4 a.m., you need to go back to sleep? Uh-oh, I'm sorry about the timing, that stinks. Crinkle Top is immortal. He actually, he is. He is immortal. And he's Agnes Crumplebottom's ex-husband, which is perhaps even more exciting. Would you like to intensely train on this, on the jumps too? 
What traits does Cookie have? Oh, I can show you the horse baby. Look at this. We got the hardy trait uh, as one of our, like, breeded traits. These horses are born to run. They can train for long periods of time without getting fatigued and work up a horse-sized appetite. Uh, and it's also defiant, brave, and intelligent. It was literally just born. Like, I I have probably been playing the game for about six hours in-game since it was born. So <laughs> it's a brand, brand, brand new horse. Um, hey, Em and Michelle, thank you for the subs, both of you too. Oh, and I have one other life update. This is completely unrelated to the horse pack, uh, but it is a life update. Tomorrow is Dan's birthday. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is Dan's birthday, so. Uh, I'll bring back Charlie. Anyway, yay, Dan, happy birthday. He's kind of doing like a birthday stream sort of thing right now. I don't actually know what he's gonna do. Not like a fancy one. He's just like, my birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll tell him you all said nice things about his birthday. I'm sure he'll be really pleased. Okay, where's the baby? Also, I'm slowly uh, making us a new house. I just haven't, I need to refurnish it, but I don't really want to do that right now, so. We'll have to hold off. <laughs> what does he stream? Um, he plays a lot of Dead by Daylight and also a lot of Stardew Valley. What is he streaming right now? I have no idea. I'll find out. Wait. The answer is, right now, he's streaming just chatting. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to play after. I'm not sure what he's going to do later. Um... He talked to me about- well, no, he didn't talk to me about streaming Stardew. I said, you should stream Stardew. <laughs> it wasn't his idea, it was mine. But I- I think he should. So. Anyway. <laughs> Amber, thank you for the six month resub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, Dan usually chats for a little bit before he starts gaming. Um, I tend to get straight into the games because if I don't, the children are like, Why aren't you playing Sims? Play Sims! Unpause the game! Where's the Sims? So I usually just play. <laughs> I don't usually do like a chat extreme in the beginning. <laughs> but <laughs> I just jump right into it. <laughs> we kind of chat while we play though. We've been talking while we play. Sometimes with certain games, it's a little bit easier to chat while you play, you know? Here. Um, well, Dad, what does that mean? When you say here, like, like, here? Or like here in the chat? Are you like outside or? Where's the Sims? Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, now he's making fun of us. Play Sims, play Sims. Where's the game? <laughs> what are you? Look at this. Oh, I missed it. She was licking her foot. Also, you see that random little arm in the left side of the cat cam? That would be Stanley Humphrey's arm from my weenie plushie. Sorry, I'm watching her very intently right now. I'm just excited. Cats are so weird. Yep. <laughs> the point stands. Cats are so weird. <laughs> you read a lot of John Green? Well, no, I just have all the John Green books together right there. And it happens to be in that corner. Hank Green's books are there too, to be clear. But they're all in that shelf together. So. <laughs> I have read all their books. For a long time, a long time ago, actually. Did I read them though? Why would I have them there if I didn't read them? <laughs> I read those books like, pr honestly, probably like 10 years ago as well. Well, maybe like eight years ago, some of them. But anyway, I did read them, yes. <laughs> you have books you did not read yet? Well, yeah, I've got a couple books on the shelves that I didn't read yet, but I didn't just buy like eight books from the Green Brothers to not read them, I promise. <laughs> How have you sorted your books? Um, the books in the shelf behind me are sorted a little bit differently than maybe I would if I wasn't sorting them in a way that looks cute on camera. You know what I mean? But, anyway. 
you have books in your shelves you haven't read? Oh, trust me, I've got a handful of books. But the, my, the books that I haven't read are not in here. They're on my bedside table. I've got a stack of like six of them that I'm planning to read, but I haven't read yet. It's actually not that bad though. Some people have worse stacks of books that they haven't read, so. Anyway. <laughs> Do you read Colleen Hoover? I've never read one of her books. I do have one of her books in my stack of things that I think I should probably read. I don't know if I would like it that much, but I feel like I should probably read it because everybody talks about it so much. But anyway, not Colleen Hoover, yeah. <laughs> but I, I feel like I should probably, I need to know. I need to read it so I can know. I already bought it. There's no reason to argue. But everyone talks about it so much, I feel like I should read it. I I feel as though I'm probably not gonna like it, but that's okay, I need to know. So. <laughs> you need your own opinion? I'm just kind of curious. So, anyway. Anyway, that was a, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Someone else asked, not me, I didn't say it. <laughs> and you're all saying no, no, but you read it. That's why you're all saying that. So let's not, let's... <laughs> let's think for a second about this. <laughs> and Romantic Ace and Michaela and Hoppy and Julian and Classical and Zombie and Amber and M and Michelle, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna finish? He's doing that glitch where he doesn't eat. I'm just gonna cheat it. This glitch happens sometimes where they just refuse to eat. That's been happening since the horse pack came out. That's okay though. I'll just cheat it if he's gonna do that today. I can't be bothered to deal with that right now. Okay, I fixed my smelly sheep. Where's my goat? Are you smelly too? Yes, you are. Look, see the smell is still where the goat should be. <laughs> but the goat is big, so. Do the sheeps function that small? Yeah, obviously. You just watched me use it that small. I made it tiny and made my goat big. Don't you like it? I have read the Bridgerton books, yeah. They're, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I described this the other day to my friend who I was talking to it about. The books are very, like... I'm the man and you'll do what I say. <laughs> and um, I know that they're supposed to be like a little historical fiction romance, but like some of it is kind of cringe to me. Um, I think the show is kind of cringe, but also kind of fun. So I enjoyed reading the books for that reason. But there's some parts that are a little bit like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I enjoyed reading them because I was kind of curious about it because of the show and stuff. I've seen the show, so. Um, but. I still haven't seen Princess Charlotte. I've been meaning to watch it, but I've been busy. So, anyway. Let me just milk my goat. Okay, I think I want to practice with the horse a little bit more. Why are you upset now? Did you break the thingy on your own? I think he might have broke the jumps on his own. He's jumping level nine, endurance eight, temperament seven. Temperament is like the most annoying one for me to build because I, I can't just like train it, you know? <laughs> so I find the temperament skill really annoying to work on. Anyway, did you ever watch Daisy Jones? No, I haven't seen it. I, don't, I haven't seen that many things. If I'm being completely honest with you, this is a little bit embarrassing, but, um, much of my year has been taken up by Love Island. And I'm I'm really not exaggerating when I say that. Like, I watched the whole winter season of Love Island, and that wasn't that long ago. And now there's the summer season of Love Island that's on right now. And there's an episode every night. So I'm, I'm really not kidding when I say I haven't watched much else on TV aside from Love Island this year. I've spent a lot of time watching Love Island this whole year. <laughs> so. <laughs> You've never seen an episode? That's okay, Judith. You probably shouldn't. 
You'll be fine. Keep it up. <laughs> but anyway, which one? Oh, the UK Love Island, not the US Love Island. That one's kind of scary. I don't want to watch that. Mm. No, I haven't watched After Sun. I also haven't had time to watch Unseen Bits this season, but in previous seasons, they basically on Love Island, I'm sorry I'm talking about this, it's embarrassing, but they, they make an episode every single day and there's six like real episodes a week and then one night a week, they do like kind of a, I don't wanna call it a blooper reel cause it's not, but it's like the stuff that isn't like the main show where they're like, oh, what's your type? <laughs> They're like, it's more just like them being silly. They post in the Unseen Bits episodes. Um, and I haven't had time to watch those this year. But uh, usually I, I find watching those actually is good because then it makes me dislike some of the people on the show less. Because some of the people on the show are hard to like. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's kind of like an, a deleted scenes thing, I guess. But anyway... Um, I did read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah, I did read that. I liked that book. I thought it was nice. If you haven't watched Her Stop or Do It, that is all. I've been wanting to watch that. Maybe I should watch it, Marissa. I have such a long list of things to do and see. Yeah. <laughs> Nerdy, thank you for the 14 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, do you start streaming at the same time Love Island starts in the UK? I do. I do start streaming at the same time Love Island starts, yeah. Um, it's eight episodes, 30 minutes each. Ooh, that's doable. That's doable. Is my full fine or is it dizzy? Oh, it's a little bit dizzy because it was just born. They uh, they get a little bit like that when they're first born. Um, they're kind of stumbly and um, stuff when they when they first come into the world. <laughs> and they were, it was born yesterday in game, so it's brand new, the full. But watch it with Dan so we can give you a British perspective, okay? <laughs> You're trying to work through all the seasons of Drag Race? So are we. We've been going back and watching a lot of old seasons of Drag Race recently. Um, I've been watching a lot. Literally, I'm not kidding when I say it's like Love Island and Drag Race is the only thing I watch right now. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I've watched all year. <laughs> like, like since like December. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Cat Lady and Nerdy and Deadly and Dilemma and Ty, thank you for the subs. Yeah. I just, I love a little reality show, you know? It's great fun. Okay, I wanna try and get this skill up one more. No, no, finish the skill point, come on. Intensely train, you got this, get the skill point. There we go. All right, let's go into our competition. Okay. Back home. Reality TV is the best type of TV. Yeah, I like, um, I like to watch stuff like that because it's kind of like an easy watch. Um, it's like low stakes, easy to just put on while you're doing stuff, you know, like I, um, yeah, <laughs> I just like that sort of stuff. I know it's embarrassing, but I just like it. Okay, let's enter, I'm probably not gonna win, but I'm gonna enter this master competition and see what happens. You love Survivor? Oh, me and Dan watched a couple seasons of Survivor last year for the first time. He had never seen it, and my parents used to watch Survivor like literally probably 15 years ago. Um, so it was kind of fun for me to watch it again because I have memories of them watching it when I was younger, but. Did not place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, maybe we could enter. I need to start working on skills with this one. This horse is not that good yet. But that's okay. Big Brother is so fun. I've never seen Big Brother. I think I would probably like Big Brother. Uh, hey, Denise, thank you for the 13 month resub. Don't be embarrassed, it's okay to like stuff. I know, I know, it's not embarrassing. Some people are like so weird about, um... Oh, did not place. <laughs> Yikes. Some people are so weird about like the stuff they watch. They get like, oh, like I only watch like, you know, real shows and they're so like, 
better than you because they watch, you know, so I just get embarrassed sometimes when I, I'm talking on Twitch about how I like to watch Love Island. <laughs> anyway. I, I'm, I'm just being honest. Um. <laughs> really, Brew? That's a good show. That kind of stuff is fun. Is the cat okay? Yeah, she's just sleeping, Meg. It's okay. She doesn't like the, the lights that I have in here, so she puts her face in the pillow. People sleep with their face in the pillow sometimes, too. Nothing wrong with that. It happens. Let's go back home. Let's go back home. Okay. Come on, horsies. <laughs> Nick, thanks for the 13 months, too. Okay. You sleep with your face in a blanket? Yeah. <laughs> your husband sleeps with a pillow over his face? There you go. Which button do you press to travel? Oh, you can press M. It opens the map so you can travel. Pretty helpful. Okay. What do you need, horsey? Your fun is low. Oh, both of your fun is low. Let me dismount the horse. So I watch the Kardashians. I've actually never seen the Kardashians. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I don't know. You always press it by accident, so you covered it with a sticky note. I used to have that problem loads back when I played, um, especially playing Sims like on a laptop and stuff. Um, I had way bigger problems, but now because I, uh, like play with mouse and keyboard, I don't have as much of an issue with pressing M by accident, but I used to do it so often because I would use, um, like these keys to turn the keyboard or to turn the camera and then I would hit M by accident. <laughs> so annoying. So, so, so annoying. Hit the screenshot button on accident. Oh yeah, I can see that. That is annoying. Okay. Let's get some food and stuff, my sim. Um, you, I have food for the horse, it just isn't eating it. Which, in my opinion, is its own fault. Okay. Okay. The bug where your sims can't eat the cooked food but can eat the harvested apples? Yeah, queen, I was having that bug today. Literally like this morning in game. I think that when I reload the lot, I stop having the glitch. Um, but yes, I was having that same problem with the, um, the Sims not eating. They just sit there and stare at it. But I think when you reload, it usually fixes it. We'll see if he eats this right now. Yeah, like this bug. See how he's not eating it? I think if I, if I reload, it'll, oh, I pressed M instead of manage worlds. But I think if you reload, it should fix it. But yeah, I also have been having that problem. <laughs> uh, very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. All right, let's reload and see what happens. Yours was only with the grand breakfast. Oh, weird. Yeah, he's been doing it with any anything, but not, it, it, this wasn't happening a couple days ago. It's been happening today though. So, you've had that too? Yeah. Did you build him a house? I, we started one, but I haven't, uh, I haven't moved him into the house yet. The cat is on the counter in there. Uh, we will move in here eventually. I'm just not, I'm not ready to live in there yet. Ranch hand's not working, you have to rehire hire him. That's the other main glitch that I have with the pack is the ranch hand, like, doesn't stay hired. I have to, like, he stops coming and I have to keep hiring. Um, okay. Anyway. What's that green light? Oh, the, this is from the eco lifestyle stuff. It's a green neighborhood. So, is it working like a one-time service? That's kind of what it seems like is happening, Elme. It, it seems like it's supposed to be a recurring thing where they come every day, but they instead only come the one time. I think it's supposed to stay hired. Um, cause it, let me see if I can show you. When you hire a service, maybe it is supposed to be just one time, but oh, I guess it, I guess because the other ones are scheduled, maybe it's not a glitch and it is supposed to be just one time. Uh, no, I think it's a glitch. I think it's a glitch. I think they are supposed to come each day. 
You're making me second guess myself. <laughs> no, I think it's glitched and they are supposed to come each day. And they're supposed to come like from seven to seven. So. Yeah, when you hire one, it says it should come every day, but they don't. So, anyway, it's a glitch. But I have um, problems with it too. So you're not alone in that one. Hello, horsey. Your fun is low? Their fun is always low. Are we having that problem where I need to buy the balls again? Chat was telling me the other day that sometimes they just stop using them and you have to buy a new one for them to be like smart enough to use it again. Why is the goat giant? Because I sized it up. You don't like it? <laughs> what, you don't like it? Are you gonna try and play with the ball now, horsey? Why won't you do it? Ask horse to play. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm gonna talk to this horse too. Cradle, bottle feed. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Girl named Fish, thank you for the sub gift. Does it still move? Yeah. Everyone is really horrified and like stressed out by my goat, but it, it works because they're just an item. You can size them up and down like you would any item in build mode. Um, animations are kind of weird when you do it, obviously, as you would expect, um, but it still works, so. <laughs> it still works. But I like it. Where's our baby sheep? Oh, it's it's over here. I have a tiny, 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 tiny sheep. Tiny sheep. I made it as small as I could. <laughs> Clumsy Swift, thank you for the subs, both of you. Isn't it cute? I love the goat, it's even a bit small if you ask me. Yeah, I probably should have made the goat bigger. I mean, it's not really, it's it's kind of tiny, you know? How do you unsubscribe on Twitch? You don't want to unsubscribe, you just feel trapped by Twitch right now? Oh my god, Elsie, you might want to Google these things if you actually can't figure it out, but um, if you go to twitch.tv forward slash subscriptions, you can manage all your subscriptions there on that page. Um, and you can you can cancel them. You can say like don't renew, change payment me method, whatever. Um, you can uh, manage your subscriptions on that tab. Again, that kind of stuff is uh, good to look up if you're confused because it is. I guess maybe it's not that obvious, but that's where you can see all your subs that you're using and stuff. So I don't use a reshade. No fish. I don't use a reshade. Okay. You like how the sheep is so tiny and the goat is giant? I know, me too. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy it. Amazon, do we get sued for that behavior? I don't know. I actually don't think it's that difficult to see where you manage your subscriptions. I mean, you would just manage it like how you would manage any payment you're using on Twitch. Um, I don't, I don't know, but I guess I'm also very familiar with the system, so maybe that's why it doesn't seem so bad to me. I don't know. Um, but anyway. If you, on your Twitch page, if you press like your face, it'll, it has like a subscriptions thing too. You know, it says like channel, subscriptions, settings. Same place, you can get to it all there too. Okay. I'm gonna hand feed you a little bit more. I wanna get our temperament skill up so we can try and win this contest. I hate the temperament skill. It's stupid. It takes too long. Selena, thanks for the 29 months. Thank you so much. I'm trying to like max every skill of this horse is and it just takes forever. Um, Prime is hard to get out of. Well, I was talking about Twitch subs, not Prime. <laughs> I was talking about Twitch subs. Um, Specifically, because that was the question. Hey, Miv, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. I'm playing with horses. <laughs> I'm playing with my horsies. Okay. Um, do you want to practice jumps? We have to fix them, but you know. Miv with the tier two, 53 months. Oh my goodness. That is a long time. A very, very, very long time. 
Okay. Mount. Let's try this again. I did finish the Not So Berry build yesterday on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this lot is 64 by 64 to the person who just asked. It's big. Too long, some would say. Okay, Miv, that's mean. What? You want to ditch me? That's rude. Anyway. <laughs> do we have plans for another shell challenge? Um, Brittany, I usually do one every like month and a half ish. And we just did one. Like we just did the tours last week um, from the last one. So we'll probably hold off a little bit before the next one. Um, but we do them fairly often, so. Okay, I think if we, this next skill is gonna be level 10. So once we do this, we'll max it, which will be kind of fun. I look forward to that. <laughs> you went pee and came back and we raided Simsy. Hi, Max. <laughs> oh, reminder to save. You know what? You make a good point. You make a good point. <laughs> When's the next not so very stream? Uh, probably like next week, Chili Pepper. I don't know. We built the new house yesterday and the day before, so. Um, we've got a house to live in now, which is step one, I guess. Um, let's go use the bathroom and then take a shower. How about that? Okay. You're so annoyed with the ranch you're building. The outside is good. The inside is so difficult. Uh-oh. I understand that. I, I have been there. I promise. <laughs> Aren't you on a break next week? Yeah, I'm taking next week off from streaming. So I meant like, you know, next week. <laughs> Not... You know, anyway, I'm not gonna be live next week. I'm gonna take the week off from streaming, so. Anyway. You're on vacation at the moment. My Sims must be so lonely. <laughs> they probably miss you, Lucas. That's devastating. Okay. Are you gonna shower? Can you shower? Some people wanna do a horse contest. Come on, hurry. There we go. Oh my god, the goat clips through the ceiling. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> it's the goat! It's the goat! Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually like genuinely really funny. I like it. What's wrong with you, cat? Maybe I'll fill this for you too. I'm gonna post videos next week, yeah, Smith. I won't be able to stream though, um, but I, I pre-recorded a whole bunch of YouTube videos, so. I've had a very, very, very busy week <laughs> uh, getting all of them done, but yeah, I'll still post on YouTube while I'm, while I'm uh, taking my time off, so. Okay. I'm gonna go do a little contest, I think. Oh, sorry, I yawned. Probably made you all yawn too. You should move your camera so we can see the temperament skill. Where is my camera blocking the temperament skill? I'm not sure that it is. I don't think my camera is blocking anything. I know the game quite well, and there's not usually anything over here. That's why my camera's there. <laughs> I mean, sometimes if you have the relationship panel up high, but I don't think there's anything there. Um, for the horses? Uh, the horse skills, you can see them here, and obviously the horse skill is in the middle. <laughs> there's nothing behind my face cam. <laughs> uh, I don't think, I don't think that's true on YouTube. I'm not, I don't, I'm not understanding. I'm pretty, I'm pretty familiar with the game and I think that it, my camera's in a good spot. That's why I keep it there because there's not really always that many spots that are good for it, so. On the YouTube videos? Uh, friend, again, my camera's in the exact same place on my YouTube videos, so. <laughs> Best, leave me alone. It's in the exact same spot though. It is blocked in the YouTube videos. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> I don't, 
I just, no metal. Oh my god, because my horse is uncomfortable. I wasn't paying attention. You guys are scaring me. I don't really think that that's true. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> it does get blocked right before you enter a horse competition. Like, when I'm entering the competition and the camera's covering the side. Besties. There's nowhere else to put it. It's really not a big deal, okay? <laughs> It's really, it's really not the biggest of deals, okay? It's like so not, I don't know why it's become this whole thing. <laughs> if we move the camera, it's gonna block something else. You can't win. This is the best spot for The Sims 4. Cause think about how much UI goes there and over there and down here. Like this is, I promise. It's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. This is a weird conversation. Why has it become this whole thing? <laughs> Fluffy and KM and Forgetful and Heath and Liv and Donnie and Teresa. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're like this close to finishing this level of the temperament skill, so. Okay. Hand feed? Maybe a green pea? No, we have not made it official with this Riley person. Oh no, we have! Oh, why doesn't he like me then? Oh, yikes. Here I thought that maybe he wasn't- we weren't officially dating because we have like no relationship, but I guess we are. Interesting. Level 8 temperament! Okay, finally. My goodness. Alright, let's go back home. Like, maybe I'll try and go on a date tomorrow with him. That could be an idea. Okay. Oh, that's right. He asked me to be his boyfriend. That's what it was. I got the pop-up and he asked me to date him. That's why I didn't remember. Because I wasn't the one who had to do it. <laughs> That'll be cute though. We'll go on a date tomorrow. I don't think that I ever want to live with him. Oh, I didn't want to sleep. I wanted to eat. I don't think I want to live with him. Because frankly, I don't want to have more Sims. But He did have the villainous Valentine aspiration. That's true. <laughs> I changed it though, thankfully. Which should make things a little bit easier. Okay. You liked the wedding barn video today? Oh, thanks. I had fun building that today. I well, I didn't build it today, obviously. <laughs> but I had fun building that that uh, lot. I made like a vineyard sort of thing to be a wedding setup. So I enjoyed it. Okay, let's sleep. Thought your kitten's name was Sewer Sam, but Dan just called him Sammy. Well, same name. <laughs> that would, yep, that would be the name. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> he usually gets called Sammy, so no one calls him Sewer. That's mean. <laughs> Full name, full name, Sewer Sam. Usually gets called Sammy. <laughs> Fluffy and Kel and KM and Forgetful, thank you for the subs. Okay, semantics, more like Sam-mantics. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Kitten update? We can have another one. I had this conversation a second ago, but I can do it. Oh my God, this is actually really cute. Wait, look at this. Dan just sent me this picture. I think he's probably showing it on stream, but this isn't the picture, I'll show you. Long story short, okay, TLDR, me and my sister found these three kittens in a sewer last weekend. Um, they were at the time guesstimated to be about four weeks old by the vet, so now they're about five weeks old. Um, we also found their mom, she's a stray, and I have them all in my house right now, I'm fostering them. Um, their names are Shrimp, Sunny, and Sewer Sam. Uh, this is the picture that Dan sent me of them. <laughs> Look at them eating. <laughs> But you can see mom and then the three babies. <laughs> so they've been doing very well. They've been eating. 
it's very impressive. I also, um, you can maybe see like some little white powder on their food. It's a probiotic that the vet has prescribed to them um, because they're sewer cats. Uh, <laughs> and I thought it was gonna be like an ordeal, but they don't even care, they just eat it. I sprinkle it on the food, they just lick it right up. It's great. Good kitties in like a perfect formation as well. <laughs> um, but anyway. Maybe it tastes good? Yeah, possibly. No, I did not try it, Brew, actually. <laughs> I did not try it. How old is Frankie? The vet thinks that the mom is about one to two years old. I thought that she was about like 11, 10, 11 months old, but um, I guess she also is a stray, so she might just be a little small, cause I don't know. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Those are the sewer cats, that's the cat update. The, oh, oh, the other update is that today, um, Frankie went to the vet today. Um, they all did, but it was Frankie's appointment, the mom, because she had her booster shot for her feline leukemia vaccine. So, <laughs> they all had to go to the vet. She didn't do as good of a job on the way to the vet this time as she did last time. The babies did great, they slept, they didn't care. But she did great once she was at the vet and then on the way home, she was great but she was a little bit scared on the way to the vet, which I get, I understand. So, <laughs> but she did so well. I was so impressed by her when we, the day that we found them, I was so impressed by her and how calm she was. And like at the vet, cause Frankie got all of her vaccines um, like uh, last weekend, obviously, or two, I guess it was like two weeks ago. Oh my God, when was it? <laughs> I don't know, but she got all of her uh, shots that day. Um, cause she was a stray, she previously had none. And she also got blood drawn um, as like, so they could run some tests and stuff to see if she was sick and all these things. And she was so good about it. She didn't react at all, at all. So yeah, it's about two weeks, I guess. So the kitties are almost six weeks old. Um, but anyway, <laughs> she, was, she did a very good job getting her shots. So anyway. Um, Jerome, I promise, I know you mean well, I promise, I promise, I am doing everything in my power to take care of these cats the best way possible. <laughs> I didn't bring these cats in from the sewer just to separate them from mom all of a sudden. Like, we're gonna keep them together uh, a great amount of time. We're gonna do everything right. I promise I've been doing so much research. I talked to the vet loads. Like, I promise I'm, I'm gonna do it right. <laughs> I know that you mean well. I just wanna make sure we're all clear, okay? Um, I'm not like... <laughs> Whenever I talk about this, they'll say all these things that are like, why didn't you take the cats to the vet? And then I'm like, I did take the cats to the vet. Why isn't Frankie Spade? She's a stray and she's nursing, so she can't be yet. Like it's a whole like, <laughs> every time it's like people are like, why didn't you do this? I did. So I just like to make sure we clear up any misconceptions. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of like harming these cats when in fact I am doing everything I can. <laughs> so, oh, Power Conservation Day is now in effect. Of course it is. <laughs> hey, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, and Lil and Maddie and Ash and, and uh, Nye and Cal and Fluffy, thank you for the subs too. Anyway, yikes, 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 yikes. Um, I don't think my cat in game is sick. I think maybe she's scared, I don't know. Maybe she's hungry, maybe she refuses to eat. Litter box, Krobus would like a nice clean litter box? Well, you have one. Do I need to move it closer for you? Are you confused? You have one. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh my goodness, the big goat scared you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like it though. It's fun. I think the goat is fun. Maybe he doesn't want to go in the creepy basement. I guess that's true. Maybe the cat doesn't want to go in the basement. I can see that. So. Okay. Why is everything dark? Um, because it, there's a, it's power conservation day, so the game knocked out my power. Great. <laughs> yeah, I find that litter box has been kind of glitchy for me in the past too. I don't know why. I don't 
know why. Let's go do a competition. I'll bring just this one for now. Yes. Yes. Um, no, I know you didn't, Jerome. I, I would, I, I don't want you to think that I was, like, responding to you aggressively, because that wasn't my intention. I was just like, hey, general chat, let me just make sure we clear up anything. Because <laughs> I don't want people to think that I'm doing anything bad, because people do accuse me of doing bad things. I literally, this person, I keep talking about this, I'm sorry. But this person the other day, they were, like, yelling at me, because I didn't get Frankie Spade. She's a stray cat! I found her and three babies in a sewer. It's not my fault. I didn't know she, like, I... <laughs> and then I was like, we can't get her spayed now because she's still taking care of the baby. She can't have surgery yet. The vet said, we'll wait until she's weaned the kittens. And they're like, you can get her spayed right now. The doctor said to wait. <laughs> so it's, anyway, that's why I just, I'm getting a little bit defensive, you know? <laughs> Because I don't want people to be like... Anyway. Anyway. Um, the internet is so, so fascinating, isn't it? Let me enter... Maybe I'll do a master competition again. I keep losing them, but I want to just maybe get lucky and see if we can win. Anyway. Exactly right, Casey. She literally just had kittens. Like, she has to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> In the same way, like, the babies obviously can't get fixed yet. They're, like, five weeks old, <laughs> you know? Silver medal! Okay, there we go. Finally. Um, but, okay. Let's try... You have, like, no skills, my other horse, but... She's in your spare room. She's perfectly safe. Exactly. Exactly. But, um, anyway... Better to listen to the vet than strangers on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Silver medal. That's not too bad. Um. Okay. Your mom's cat was a stray that was spayed while nursing and after she wanted nothing to do with the kittens. Oh, that makes me nervous. Yeah, I can see that. For, like, so many reasons, it doesn't seem like a good idea for her. And obviously the vet doesn't think so either. Like, why would you get her spayed when she's still taking care of babies. Um, that makes me feel sad. Um, okay, let me try and intensely train with these barrels again. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that probably, I mean, like, there's so many ways that would, like, mess with her hormones and stuff, right? And also, like, she's undergoing surgery. Dear God. Um, that's the last thing that she needs. <laughs> That's the last thing that she needs is to undergo surgery while she's trying to take care of babies, you know? Um, but anyway. They're doing well, so. Okay. Put them in a litter box as early as you can, even though she's straight to learn to do their things there. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, Valentina. They've been using the litter box since, like, the first day we had them. <laughs> Uh, they've been doing really well with that. They Cats, like, they want to use a litter box. Like, they want to bury it. It's, like, instinctive, so. Um, they, they've been using it. Don't worry. <laughs> they did have... The kitties had a couple accidents. They peed on a towel a couple times, but only the first day. And then the second day, they were fine. They were using the litter box. I think also watching mom helps them, obviously, so. Um, yeah, kitties are good at that, though. Your bunny did the same thing? Yeah, they, I mean, you know, you're, we're feeding into their instincts by, like, giving them a litter box. They want to use a litter box. They want to bury it. Like, they like that, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've all done pretty well with that, so. Cats just love a clean litter box, yeah. <laughs> I always find that so impressive, like, how, um, I don't know, just how smart they are with, like, being able to do that so quickly. Your cats jump out of the litter box and scratch the floor to bury it. Oh, they're so smart. <laughs> what smart kitties you have. <laughs> oh, they're so smart. Okay. <laughs> your dog uses a litter box? That's cool. Um, you rescue your cat at four weeks from your workplace and she used a litter box straight away. You were so impressed. That That's the thing, Lucy. I was so impressed by them too because I was wondering... I. I've never had, like, a four-week-old kitten before, obviously. 
Um, so when we had all these cats, I didn't know like what they were gonna do or how they would react to the litter box. I figured that Frankie would be okay, but I didn't know like. And also, when we first found them, before I went to the vet, I went the same day to the vet, but before I went there, I was like, how old are they? Are they, like, young enough that I have to try and, like, help them? Like, do I need to, like, try and stimulate them to poop? No, they were fine. But I was like, what do I do? <laughs> um, but anyway, they're fine. They do it on their own, so. Have you thought you'd want to foster again in the future? I don't know, Nerdy. I always said that I might want to foster. I just never, like, took the leap to, like, actually get into it. And then I found a handful of kittens in a sewer, so. But maybe again in the future. I, I feel like I'm pretty equipped to do it as a person who, like, I'm home all the time because I work from home. I have space. Like, I, I don't know. So. Anyway. Your dog tries to dig in the bed. Oh, smart girl. Exactly. She's a genius. <laughs> Judith Ward, land grab power company safety alert. Due to squirrels, we're going to turn off your power sometime in the next 48 hours. They, well, too bad we're turning it off right now. Okay. <laughs> they really tuned that call because it happens so often. My power is already off because of the neighborhood action plans. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> of course. Of course. If you say, of course, it never gets turned off. Yeah, I know, but my power's already off, so. It doesn't really bother me. <laughs> doesn't really bother me. I don't know why Judith is the one calling. Um, you do it constantly. You have seven kittens right now. You're picking up a mom and babies tomorrow. You work at the shelter. That's amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed that you do that. That's really, really, really amazing. I That's something that I've always, like, been so... Um, I don't know, impressed by people who do, obviously. That's really cool. You've probably helped so many kitties. That's so cool. You fostered a baby bird and it survived and got reunited, reunited with its mother. I have a bird right now. Well, I don't have a bird in my house, but uh, there's been a bird that's been sleeping on my porch. I have like, um, it's been like sitting up on top of the column in, on my porch. Um, and when I first saw it, I was like, is that a rat? Is there a rat up there? No, it's a bird. And it was there that first night. And that was like five or six days ago. It's been there every night since. I don't know what kind of bird it is because I only see it at nighttime and it's quite dark. So I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, there's been a bird sleeping on my porch. <laughs> it doesn't have a nest or anything yet. It just sits there on the porch. But it leaves in the morning and then it comes back at night. So... Are you like a Disney princess with animals coming to you? Literally, when I first saw it, I was like, is that a baby? Am I going to have to foster that too? <laughs> but it, it seems like it's okay. I think it's minding its own business, but what if it's a bat? No, it's a bird. It's a bird. I can tell it's a bird. Um, but anyway, does fostering mean you'll give them away later or release them? Oh, good God, Jesse, I'm not going to release them. <laughs> care for these kittens for a few months and then be like, okay, go outside. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, the, the goal is that, I don't know, maybe I will adopt, my family might adopt, someone I know might adopt, we're taking care of them until they can go to a home. I'm not just gonna like, <laughs> they're gonna get adopted is what the goal is. Um, I, I wouldn't just like <laughs> send them away. <laughs> I'm just put them back in the sewer. <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, if if there were if it was like a wild animal, that would be different. But for the kittens, obviously, it's um, yeah, not that. <laughs> they might have meant the bird. I'm not sure. I'm not fostering a bird. There's just a bird on my porch. That's different. <laughs> That's different. That's different. <laughs> Hey, Ansby, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much. Hello, stop on your phone. Walk faster. Walk faster. You tried to find a toilet or sewer themed cat tree for them, but unfortunately none exist. I don't see why not. <laughs> you know what? My sewer cats, the first week we had them, they were really, really into sleeping next to the toilet 
in the in the bathroom of the like that the room that they're in has an ensuite bathroom and they were really into sleeping uh next to the toilet in there and we used to joke about how it, they liked it because it reminded them of their home the sewer but they haven't slept in there next to the toilet in like almost a full week because now they like run around and try and climb things so they've they're they're they don't they aren't like toilet cats anymore which is good i'm proud of them but i am a little i do kind of miss those those toilet days you know <laughs> they've been uh sleeping all over the place they have like a little um they have like a little cat bed condo looking thing and they like to sleep in there which is objectively better than next to the toilet so i'm glad they've realized it <laughs> anyway they grow up so fast <laughs> they're moving on up you know <laughs> You have a one-year-old kitty and she's the best thing to ever happen to you? That is so sweet. I love cats. I love cats. I've had a cat my entire life. I, um, Snap is 15 and we got her when I was nine. So I, we have had Snap for like ages, like almost as long as I can remember. We've had Snap and, um, we also had, my parents had a cat, uh, before I was born called Pi that, um, she died when she was, um, 18 and I was 11. So I've literally never lived without a cat. And my parents have two more cats now. Like we have, there's just cats. I've always had cats, 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 cats. So, um, but yeah, Snap is 15. Yeah. Yeah. Got your dog when you were three and you're 18 now. Wow. That's really cool to grow up with them. How was Snappy as a kitten? I'm curious to know. You know what? This is the thing, right? Because I was so young, I don't really have that many memories of her as a kitty. Like, I, I remember the day that we got her and bringing her home. Um, I remember when she was really little, we, uh, one of our dogs who also passed away, because we got him when I was like six months old. He died when I was like 13. So this is a long time ago. <laughs> uh, but our dog at the time, uh, she was very close to him. She like on the couch, he would like be sleeping on the couch and she would curl up next to him and like sleep next to him on the couch. So cute. So, 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 so cute. Um, but anyway, we've been besties since I was little. So she used to like lay on my, I'd be like laying on the couch with my laptop playing Sims and she would like lay on my lap while I did it. I'd be like sitting there on a laptop playing Webkins and she would lay on my lap while I did it. That's how, Snap is like Webkins era. It's how long we've had her. <laughs> um, because we, I was so young, you know. Um, but she's always been a gamer, so. Okay, let me use the bathroom and then I'll get some food. Snap is a Webkin's cat for sure. Serve dinner, make some, uh, how about a faux meat protein plate? I don't know. I don't know. You miss Webkin's? I miss Webkin's too. Those were the good old days. You just made two dozen cupcakes for work tomorrow. Oh, look, that, I mean, was sure a lot of work, but I bet they're gonna be delicious. That's gonna be nice. I'm proud of you. Simsy, I need to know, is the horse pack worth it? Bru, are you being a troll in my Twitch chat right now? Again? Or are you, is this an honest question? No, Bruin's still trolling, okay. <laughs> Bruin knows full well that I like the horse pack. To be honest, I, um, I, it's been funny for me to see, like, this always happens with expansion packs. This happened, the same thing with Eco Lifestyle, where, like, when they, when the trailer first came out and, like, leading up to the pack, everyone was like, this is stupid, shouldn't be an expansion pack, we hate this, we hate this, and then it came out and they were like, wait, this is kind of fun. <laughs> with the horse pack, everybody, like, full general consensus was, this is stupid, it should have been a game pack, this sucks, the Sims team sucks, the pack is gonna be bad. And then like they actually played it and they were like, oh wait, this pack's kind of fun. <laughs> I, it's been, it's, oh, hello? Oh, curse you land grab power company still. I thought I got electrocuted. Um, 
but anyway, uh, the people have sort of changed their mind. They like it. I liked it. I always liked it. I knew I was gonna like it. I think it's fun. I like the horse pack. Which pack do you like better, high school years or horse ranch? Um, I think that horse ranch feels more complete and less glitchy than high school years does. What are you doing? Oh, you're picking that up. Yeah, I think that I think that um, high, horse ranch is more complete and better than high school years. I love the idea of high school years so much, and I I want to like the gameplay from it so badly. But I really think that sometimes um, high school years, like first of all, I think that prom in high school years is kind of boring, which sucks. Um, and I think that like I don't know. I want it to be one of my favorite packs. It just, it's just, it's not as full feeling as I would like it to be. So, anyway, I hope we get an actual career soon. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of like stuff like this where the career is like running a ranch and not like I have a job and I go to work. Um, we haven't had a new career career in a while. Yeah, the prom takes like five minutes. There's not enough time to actually do prom stuff. Like the award ceremony happens and everyone just kind of stands there. Like I, this is like such a weird thing to say. I realize this, but I've, I've thought this ever since high school years came out. Genuinely, I kind of almost wish that prom would have been a rabbit hole. Like it was in The Sims 3. So what I mean by that, you know how like in the horse ranch, the competitions, your Sim just goes in there and does it on their own and then comes back out. I wish that prom was like that in The Sims 4. I'm dead serious because in The Sims 3, it had these like randomized pop-ups where it would be like, oh my God, your Sim has a crush on so-and-so. Oh, your Sim had just had their first kiss with their partner at prom. And it tells you the pop-ups and stuff. And I, I actually preferred that more because it felt like more stuff happened and then it, there was less room for glitches. And I, I think the same thing about like if they had done active horse competitions, it wouldn't be that good. It would take all day. It would be weird and empty. It would be kind of slow. So it's better that the competitions are just a rabbit hole. Or like maybe if there was an option to send your teens to prom alone instead of going with them if you wanted to. I don't know. I just feel like... Um, I don't think The Sims 4 is equipped to have an active prom. Like it just doesn't work as well as we would like it to. Fun in theory, but I don't think it's that effective. It's it's similar to the wedding pack where like, it's such a fun concept. The idea of having like super detailed abilities to plan weddings is such a fun concept, but events in The Sims just don't work that well. Like they, they just don't, they never have, and they probably never will. Like The Sims 4 is just not really equipped for events. Like it just doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. Idea's good, but I don't think they can execute it well enough in The Sims 4. That's just kind of how the game is. So, anyway. Do I think this pack is worth buying without Cottage Living? Yeah, I would say so, Linky, for sure. I think that like, if you do have them both, they work together quite well, but I'm not using anything from Cottage Living right now. Oh, I guess I'm using, well, I'm using these planters from Cottage Living, but the actual gameplay that I'm doing, I don't have anything Cottage Living uh, gameplay wise right now. So it's, it's definitely fun. Even if you don't have Cottage Living, you don't really need it for this. There's sort of different vibes. Like, um, this pack is very, very much about horses and Cottage Living is very, very much about like farming in the British countryside. <laughs> like the vibes are very different. They might have similar like overarching themes. And I think the kind of person who likes Cottage Living would probably like this pack, but the actual gameplay of them isn't really that similar. They do work together well though. And I would say that this pack is better than Cottage Living. So. <laughs> the entire chat, why is your goat so big? <laughs> I sized it up. Do you like it? I have a tiny sheep too, hang on. Let me see if I can find it. If you guys see like a little tiny white thing, let me know. We kind of have to do like a scavenger hunt for the sheep whenever I'm looking for it, cause it, I know that I can look for it. I can like uh, center the camera on it, but I have more fun looking, so. 
Please hold. Oh, there it is. See? <laughs> Wait, let me get my sim closer to it because you'll see it. You'll see it when his feet are nearby. The sheep is smaller than my shoe. <laughs> look at it jump, look at it jump. Anyway, you can size the goats and sheep up and down, and I think it's funny, so I did that. <laughs> How would you feel about a Sims pack with natural disasters, like earthquakes, tornadoes, and whatnot? Ty, that's a really interesting question. Let me show you one thing. So there is a, um, like, quake zone lot challenge that comes with city living, um, and it shakes the house. There's not really a lot of negative impact from it. I, here's the thing, a lot of games have stuff like that, like City Skylines has that kind of thing too. I think that in The Sims, a proper, like, natural disaster pack feels a little bit inappropriate. Yeah, we also have the Volcano one too. Um, this is so weird. We had this discussion about there not being a death in this pack as well, where it was like, yeah, I'll explain further. So basically, I, I think that the reason there isn't a death in this pack is because it's almost a little bit too real. Like, uh, the idea of a horse killing a sim is, like, quite gruesome, and I, I think almost a little inappropriate because that kind of thing happens in real life. Um, it's, like, weird because it's a sim in your household, so it's, it's different when, like, a sim just dies versus, like, technically a sim in your household kill them. Yeah, so... I, don't, I just don't think they would ever do that. Like, it's a little bit inappropriate, which sounds weird to say because, like, Sims die from all kinds of other gruesome things that happen in real life, like fires and drowning, my god, you know? Like, there's a lot of other bad things that happen in The Sims. But there's something about, like, a living creature that feels worse, you know? Uh, it feels a lot worse than, like, the things happening to individuals, you know? Um, and so... I, I think similarly with a natural disaster pack, even though bad things happen in The Sims, the idea of like a tornado <laughs> coming in your Sims game, I think might be a little bit too far, you know? Um, I think that like it's almost a little bit too, too real, too close to home. Because even when there's fires in The Sims, they're not really that devastating. Like whenever a, your house catches on fire, it's not like gonna burn the whole house down, you know? It just... Um, messes up the kitchen a little bit and obviously like in the in cottage living the goats and the uh, or sorry not the goats the chickens and the bunnies can kill your sim but that's like that feels sillier for a couple reasons number one they're not actively in your household in the way that horses are like horses are part of the family so it's different um and also like people don't actually get attacked and killed by evil chickens like they don't, there's not like chickens with glowing red eyes that are gonna murder you. <laughs> Whereas like people actually do get hurt sometimes in accidents with horses. So it just feels different. Like it feels worse. So, um, yeah, there's like a fine line with like the catastrophe and the comedy and like, ugh. <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I'm sure that the Sims team has had a lot of discussions about this kind of stuff and like where, how far is too far and what can we do? Like, I'm sure this is the kind of thing that comes up all the time, all the time. Um, with this pack, probably it was talked about, like I, I'm sure they discuss it loads um, when they're trying to plan these things. So anyway, yeah, Alyssa, I, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like it happens and it seems weird to say that because like, people, I mean, my god, people drown, and you can drown in The Sims, but there, it, there is just something about, like, because the horses are, like, living creatures, it almost feels worse, so. Um, anyway. I, I know. It's a weird thing. It's just a weird fine line thing, but anyway. <laughs> How does a chicken kill you? Um, if they don't like you, they can, like, attack you. The rabbits can kill you in Cottage Living, too. It's pretty funny. I kind of like it. <laughs> and then also, um, to that point as well, like, I feel like some of those deaths that are a little bit more realistic are also a little bit more avoidable. Because it's not like your sim randomly dies in a fire or, like, randomly drowns. They, like, for it to happen, obviously, like, it's possible for it to happen by accident, but with intervention, you can prevent it. Like, you can have your sim put the fire out and, like, probably stop it for the most part, you know? 
Um, so, anyway. Okay, would you like to go work on the horse stuff again? Tarly, how are you doing? Or freezing to death? Yeah, the freezing to death one too, that's another one that's like, I don't know. It is kind of gruesome, but also like in the game, they turn into an icicle. So they've made it like kind of silly. <laughs> I will say the drowning one, I think the drowning death is really gruesome and like not silly goofy, like how some of them are, you know? But the icicle one is funny. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, let's try this horse. <laughs> Attacked by flies is so scary. It is scary. But the rabid rodent fever one is kind of silly too. Because they like, they wear the rat costume as a ghost and stuff. The embarrassing death has always scared you. Oh, you know what? That one is, all the emotion deaths are kind of rough. I don't know. The pufferfish one is very interesting. Yeah, you know what else is kind of, um, like the, the two deaths, the vending machine one and the Murphy bed one where your sim gets squished. Ooh. Oh, and the electrocution one. The electrocution one is rough. That one's actually kind of scary. I've always been a little bit scared of getting struck by lightning, too, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, let me practice with this horse a little bit. You hate the last one I happens to you too often? I haven't had that happen to me, like, very rarely. I had it happen to me in my one of my Let's Plays recently, but I managed to plead for my sim so they didn't die. So... Sometimes you get scared being at your computer during storms because you're so scared of lightning. Yeah, Miv, I try not to think about it too much because that's always been a fear that I've had ever since my parents' house got struck by lightning. But I know that, like, realistically, I live in Florida and we have nightmarish lightning storms every day in the summertime. And what am I going to do? Hide in the closet because I'm scared of the storm. Like, anyway, yesterday, someone in my chat was like, you better get off, because it was storming. They were like, you better get off stream soon. The storm, you're gonna die. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I have anxiety. This is not the appropriate person to tell this to. <laughs> if I like never used my computer when it was storming, I would never get anything done. I live in Florida. It's the only way. <laughs> anyway, they meant well, they meant well, but I just have anxiety, so. <laughs> it did make me nervous. <laughs> Okay. Let's enter this competition. I don't think I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna try. We shall see. We shall see. Lightning struck a phone pole right next to you one time when you were in Florida, one of the scariest things of your life. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Bronze medal is not winning. You have a crush on Malcolm Landgrab? Go for it. Um, I'll enter with, you're not going to win like any of these contests. Try that one. Try that one. Oh no, LD, I would never shower during a storm. That's one thing that my parents like really was, were like, do not, I would never shower during a storm. And I don't think that you should either. Um, but yeah, I would never shower during a storm. <laughs> Why? Because if it, the house gets struck by lightning, you're in the water. Gold medal. Not safe. That's a myth. I don't know. It might be, but sounds realistic to me. My parents' house has been struck by lightning twice. One time when I was home, and it was scary. And that time it fried like all the wires in the house. And the house, like you can imagine, shook. It was terrifying. And then the power went out immediately. Anyway, so I don't shower in the, when it's lightning. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you feel scared. Maybe Google it. I just listened to my dad, and my dad said not to, so I don't. It's not a myth. It's not a myth. Anyway, water's a conductor. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't shower in a storm. I wouldn't risk it, personally. <laughs> I, w I just wouldn't risk that, but I know, um, scary thought, but yeah. Was it myth? That's scary too, yeah. Um, 
Your TV got busted blinding twice? Ooh, that's no good. Yeah. Not good at all. Are you gonna go on a date? Yeah, I am gonna go on a date. Not just yet, because I want to ride the horse a little bit more. But th tonight, I'm gonna take my sim on a date. Um. Okay. You can do it and I live. You can do it and live, I've done it, but it is a thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the thing though, right? Like, sure you can, but it's, it's about the one time that something bad happens, right? <laughs> I don't know. It storms a lot here, so it's just a thing that I think about, but... Okay. The CDC recommends not to shower, bathe, wash dishes, or wash your hands during a thunderstorm. There you go. There you go. Yeah, unpleasant, but... I don't know. It's good to know about, I guess, so you can be safe. You went to the fair today and you saw horses. Believe it or not, they're real. No way, Christine. You're trying to tell me this thing exists in real life? Driving in storms scares you? Yeah, I, um... My dad always told me, and I don't know if he was just telling me this so I wouldn't be scared, but my dad always told me that the car is not a bad place to be during a thunderstorm because it's, like, grounded with the rubber tires. So it's not that it's okay. Is that true? Or was he just saying that to me? That's true. My dad is correct. Well, there you go. Car is safe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> safe, although unpleasant to be driving because you can't see. So, but specifically with the lightning, that part's okay. Okay, let's go on a date. If your car gets struggling landing while you're in it, you would still be fine. That's wild. Um, let's see. Don't, br I just almost brought the horses to the bar. <laughs> I don't want to do that. If you get struck, you can't get out immediately. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. This is unpleasant. <laughs> You'd be fine physically, but I wouldn't be emotionally. Yeah. Your parents told you there were no sharks in the Atlantic Ocean and you believed them until your bio teacher called you out. Oh, this is the thing. Your parents probably told you that because you were like going to the beach and they wanted you to like not be scared to swim. So they were like, <laughs> don't worry, there's no sharks in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> and then because you're a kid, you believe them. Oh my God. Oh, you're not, you're gonna be fine. You're never gonna get gotten by a shark. Curly getting licked by Sam. Oh, Shannon, that's cute. I noticed that you got here. Shannon, did you lock the door when you came in? I'm gonna assume yes. Describe new idea. Talk about my champion horse. <laughs> Shiny distraction. I'm sorry, Christine. I'll stop talking about bad things. <laughs> Your mother brushed up against a shark? I think sharks are so cool. My brother goes, why are we talking about all this stuff? My brother likes to surf. Um, he's very different than I am. <laughs> but my brother likes to go surfing. And he tells me he's seen all kinds of sharks while he is surfing. And they like never, he's never been hurt by them, but he sees them a lot, obviously, because he's out there. And I did not like him telling me that. That was information I did not need to know. What do you mean you see all kinds of sharks? What actually, what do you mean you see all kinds of sharks, Brett? And why are you saying that so casually? <laughs> anyway. That's fascinating information. I think sharks are cool though. I really do. That's a bit too upsetting for me. <laughs> I told Brett, I was like, listen, Brett. Oh, he didn't want to hold my hands. Uh-oh. When he told me that, I was like, Brett, if you get eaten by a shark, can I, like, make a video about it? At least I could, like, milk it for views, you know? And he was like, yeah, absolutely do it. <laughs> We've had these discussions, me and my siblings. But come on, imagine! Of course I'm going to talk about it. That's, like, wild. He said I could, but he hasn't been eaten by a shark. So don't worry. 
Neil Scarbish. Cesare. Who's sharp? <laughs> You'd click on that. Exactly. Could you imagine my brother got eaten by a shark? And it's like serious? Jeez. Sharks are cool, but not at VidCon. Oh my god. Oh, if you guys missed it, I did a panel at VidCon and go away. And during the panel, this guy in a shark costume climbed on the stage, threatened to expose himself, and then started doing the worm before he got picked up and carried off stage by not VidCon security, but Dream's private security. So that was interesting that that happened. The worm? Oh, the surprise part to you is the worm? He said, have you- I'm sorry to repeat this. I'm sorry, this is- this is gross and inappropriate. He said, have you ever seen a shark's balls before? And I was like, are you gonna- and then he didn't- he didn't. But I thought- I thought he was gonna- but then he didn't. <sighs> anyway, and then he started doing the worm. That's the part that is worse than the worm. Anyway. <laughs> and then I started like flopping like a fish. It was so weird. Ugh. If there wasn't video proof, I would have thought it was a fever dream, right? It also, it did, it did happen really fast. Like when I watched the video back, it all happened extremely fast. But when I experienced it, it felt like he was on the stage forever. Like, it actually, he was up and then, like, basically gone. Like, he didn't have much time up there. But when I was standing, when I was sitting there on the stage, and like, I thought when he was coming up, I thought he was going to try and hurt somebody. But he didn't. Um, but I, I don't know. It was scary. There's a video. Let me see. Hold on. Um. 8-Bit Dylan. Uh, he tweeted, Dylan tweeted a panel. Let me see if I can find the... Or Dylan moderated the panel, so if I can find his Twitter, because he tweeted a video of it. I just have to scroll back for it. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is after, this is not, this is like post, um, so there's, you can't see the, the beginning parts, but I'll show you. Hold on. He's in a shark costume. And when he was getting carried off the stage, he kept flopping. And that's me. Anyway, it's weird. <laughs> the whole thing was quite weird. I've never experienced anything like that. And then Dream said, give it up for security. <laughs> and then we just kept going and nothing happened. Cause you don't want to like acknowledge it usually. Um, so then, so then Dylan was like, okay. And then just started asking the next question on the panel. <laughs> and we never said anything out loud about it. It was so weird. People were cheering for him. They were cheering for security. Cause he, um, this, the security, like VidCon security didn't really do anything until Dream security got on the stage and took him away. And now you people are like, why does Dream have security? That's why. Probably worse than that is why Dream has security, but anyway. Um, people started cheering when the security came up. Um, cause, you know. <laughs> it was fascinating. You looked real scared. I was scared. I, well, when he was walking up, cause keep in mind, like I was sitting there on the stage and I saw him coming up, 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 up. And then the, there was like a fence and then the stage. And so he like got through multiple barriers. So he like climbed the fence and then he climbed onto the stage. So I, the whole time as he's coming towards us and then climbing and then climbing again, I didn't know what he was gonna do. Like, I didn't know if he wanted to like hurt someone or something, which unfortunately is a, I think very reasonable fear to have. Like, obviously he just was trying to be silly and like get attention, but um, you don't know what he wants. I don't know what he was gonna do. Um, and it's not unreasonable to assume he was gonna do something bad. So I was, yeah, I was scared. And then they carried him off the stage behind me. I don't know if you can see, but in the video, I kind of like shrunk down because he was like flailing when they were carrying him off the stage. So I was scared I was gonna get like whacked in the head. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, but I was like, <laughs> please don't kick me. <laughs> so 
so. <laughs> but anyway, it was weird. It was weird. Save my game? Oh, I haven't saved my game in a while. It was quite the story though. I was talking to Dylan beforehand because both of us were quite, I was more nervous than him, but I was kind of scared about the panel because when I agreed to the panel, I didn't know the dream was going to be on it. Um, so I didn't know that like, look, I hate to say it, but I didn't know that it was going to be like a, a panel that there was going to be a huge audience for, okay? <laughs> um, so I didn't realize until I like, it was almost VidCon and then I see the schedule and oh, I ate fish and chips and he's a vegetarian. So I didn't know that it was going to be like that big of a, panel, so I was quite nervous about it. I didn't know what to expect. And I was also scared because I was the only girl on the panel, which I think is also reasonable. Um, and uh, I don't know, I was just nervous about it. And Dylan was like, you know what, no matter what, even if the panel goes bad, we're gonna have a story. Uh-huh, and we sure did. <laughs> we sure, we sure do have a story. <laughs> Um, Dylan is 8-bit Dylan. He, um, I've known him for ages. I met Dylan at the first ever Sims event I went to back in 2017. The first in-person Sims event, um, was for City Living. Maybe, yeah, it was, it was ages ago. But anyway, I went to like a preview, um, event in person for City Living. There was like 20 of us there. And I met him at that and I spent like almost the whole time talking to him. He was like one of the first Sims people I ever met in person. Um, and then he worked for Twitch for a long time and now he works for Roblox and they asked him to moderate the panel, so. Um, anyway, I was so relieved when they added him on the panel because before he wasn't supposed to be the moderator and then it got switched to Dylan. And when I saw that email that it was gonna be Dylan, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you. So that was a big relief also. Um, but anyway. No, the cat cam is not a pre-recorded video. The cat's right there. So. You're gonna get old and tell people that story. The shark worm, I know. Well, when I got back to my hotel, I called my parents and I was like, you aren't gonna believe this. No! No! Storm is getting on in years, the poor old fella. Hope there's a few more pets left till the reaper comes for a visit. No. No! Why would they say it like that? No, guys, I'm not gonna turn aging off. I've never had a goat die. I wanna see what happens. He's a giant goat. Surely he should be immortal. <laughs> He's a giant goat. Surely he should be big, right? <gasps> Wait. Look at this tweet Dan just sent me. Oh my god, you guys. Paramount Plus released the full 90 minute episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. The, the most of the season, they had shorter episodes. Oh my God, I'm gonna rewatch it. That's fun. You told me, oh, I didn't see. I didn't see you say that. I hadn't seen this yet. Oh my God, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I look forward to that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where was Lava Girl in the panel? Oh my god, we have Shark Boy. Who's Lava Girl? I was wearing a pink shirt. Maybe I'm Lava Girl. I don't want to be Lava Girl. <laughs> I don't want to be Lava Girl. This thing is scary. Hmm. Anyway, Dan doesn't like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Uh, not to call him out on his birthday or anything, but he doesn't like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Quentin, thank you for the 42 months. It's <laughs> Zoe and Jenny and Angel and Skipping and Emma. Thank you so much. You know what else he didn't like? This, okay. My two favorite movies when I was a child, when these movies would have reruns on Disney Channel, it was like the night of my life, okay? I was so excited when they would play them again. Shark Boy and Lava Girl and Ella Enchanted, okay? I love Ella Enchanted. Dan thinks Ella Enchanted is a bad movie. Isn't that extremely upsetting? What kind of stupid boy doesn't like Ella Enchanted? 
And to think he has a film degree. He should know cinema when he sees it. Anyway, I used to love that movie. <laughs> I was like obsessed with Ella Enchanted when I was a kid. You're with Dan? Shut up. And listen, yes, the movie has some kind of cringe moments and some not so excellent effects, okay? Yeah, and... And... No, Snappy, it's because of Dan. It's because he doesn't like Ella Enchanted. She was reminded and now she's upset. Oh, Snap, you just failed to jump up. Come here. Oh no, come here. Do you want up? She's just looking at me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I didn't hear what she did. I just heard like feet on the floor. Where's the sheep? Oh, hang on. Um. <laughs> Hang on. If you guys see anything tiny and, um, white, it, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the sheep. Oh my god. Hey, Snap, come on. There you go. You did it. Good job. Good job, Snappy. <laughs> Yeah, French. The thing is, you can, um, in, like, the relationship panel, you can, like, focus the camera on the, on the animal. But that's not as fun as doing a scavenger hunt for the sheep. I like to look for it. <laughs> I think it's funny. So, anyway. How do you manage nerves in public speaking? Honestly, Ragdoll, can I be honest with you? I haven't got a clue. Sewer is very hungry. Well, then eat. I don't understand how I wasn't scared when I did that panel. Like, I don't understand how I managed that. And my voice wasn't even wavering. I watched the video back and like, I didn't sound scared. I don't know. I don't know what got into me there. Cause that's not me. And I don't do a lot of panels. Like I'm not that experienced, but it helped. You know what helped? They, when they, when you're on the stage with those panels, they have quite bright lights on you which makes it hard for you to see past the lights. So I, you can't really see the audience that well. Like you can't really see like, <laughs> at, at least I couldn't. Cause I was like, there's these lights in my eyes. So that also helped. I don't know. <laughs> what was the topic? Just like general streaming. So yeah, you like actually can't see them. I could kind of see the front row, but I couldn't see anybody else. So. That's a bonus, actually. Do I think the goats and sheep have graves? Oh, I, the chickens don't, right? So I don't think so. Which is sad, but true. I had to do a speech in front of six people, five friends and a teacher, and you were terrified. I used to have the hardest time with like stuff like that in class and everything. Um, I, I think that I was way more intimidated by my classmates than I ever have been of like, like true strangers. Cause I would argue that like probably the majority of the people in that VidCon audience had not a clue who I was. And it's a, it's a little bit easier, I think, to speak in front of people that you don't know than to speak in front of people that you do know. Like they're, I don't know, it's more intimidating trying to talk in front of your peers and your classmates, at least with the strangers, it's like, I don't know you and I don't care about how you think about me, you know? I'm not gonna feel that embarrassed in front of you because I'm not gonna see you again tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I, ha I think it's easier for me in front of strangers, so. And then there's also the fact that like, the people that do know who I am, like probably, you know, have a predetermined positive opinion, at least a lot of them, not all of them probably, but a lot of them. So at least I know they like me probably if they came to see my panel. So they either don't know who I am or they do like me. So that's a win. <laughs> well, that's right, exactly, Elisa. Also people that you know will remember embarrassing stuff a little bit more. They probably won't actually care. This is the thing. I used to like psych myself out way too much about the speeches in school like when I took a speech class and stuff, because like genuinely your classmates could not care less about your speech. 
they, especially if they have their own speech to do that day, like, they have enough of their own stuff to be worried about. They do not care at all. At all. What happens in your speech. They, they will not remember it. They don't care. But to you, it feels like a way bigger deal, you know? But you just, they just don't, they don't care. They're thinking about their own. They don't care about your speech. Like, it's, anyway. Anyway. Everyone's in their own head a little bit too much. Like, do you really remember what your classmates talked about in their speeches? If you've ever done a speech, like, assignment in class? Maybe a couple, but, like... You're a high school teacher? I don't remember anything my kids say either. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, I'm gonna- Oh, Snappy, do you wanna see the horse? Look. Oh, she might like this. Snappy, look at my goat. Or right, that's a sheep. Oh my gosh, she's actually looking at it. Do you like the sheep, Snappy? You ever seen a sheep before? Do you like that? <gasps> she moved her head when the sheep moved! Did you see she turned her head to look at it? <laughs> do you like the sheep, Snappy? What do you think about that? <laughs> Is that so fun? Oh, she's trying to go to it. Get your tail out of my face. Do you want to see the sheep? It's right there. Okay. <laughs> You're really good at games, Snappy. I'm impressed. Okay. Um, let me ride this horse then. <laughs> I was gonna practice and I got distracted talking about sheep. Erin, Chris, teardrop, miracle, thank you for the subs. <laughs> anyway. My horse is not aging either, Kayla. Uh, I think they are. Let me look in the panel here. Cookie has one day until aging up. You have 38 days. You have 17 days. No, they're they're aging up. Or they're aging. They just take a while to age. Come on, we're gonna intensely train. I think Snap's gonna like this. Because she can watch it go back and forth. My, my cat enjoyed watching me train with horses before when I had early access. Because she watches it. I'll film it for you. Snappy, do you like the horses? <laughs> Her head keeps going side to side when the horse runs. <laughs> That's so funny. You can picture what she's doing, it's really funny. Can we go into first person mode on the horse? Might make me feel a little bit sick, but... Ooh! Ooh! can't really see because she's blocking like right in the middle of the screen. That's okay though. All right, you are uncomfortable now. Why? Your fun is poor. Why? Why? How do you do that? If you press shift and tab, you can go into first person mode. It's kind of interesting. So... Full screen makes you nauseous easily. Yeah, yeah, especially the first person mode because it's kind of shaky, so. Something kind of funny about the first person mode, I actually know that the Sims team, when they made that, um, they made it just because they were all kind of messing around. <laughs> like, they were messing around with it um, and making it as a joke for, like, themselves in their spare time. Um, and then it was so funny that they tuned it and then put it in the real game. But that was not- they didn't make that as like a feature on purpose. They were making it because it was funny for themselves in their free time and then they liked it and they shipped it with the game. So, I love that. I think that's a great story. It is so weird, isn't it? It's so, so, so weird. But yeah, they made it for that reason, so. Alright, let's go into our competition. Little did they know we needed it. Oh, it's great. It's such a funny feature. I'm glad they added it too. Snap, I can't really see my computer because you're sitting there blocking the whole monitor. Your, like, head is right in the middle of my vision. <laughs> right there. <laughs> hey, Joe, thanks for the 30 months. And Amanda, thanks for the 35 months, too. Okay. Okay. 
Enter competition. Um, you are not good enough for an expert one of those. You're barely good enough for an intermediate one of those. Maybe we could do a beginner show jumping. I like that. Your date with Malcolm Landgrab went well. Oh, good. Does she not know this is Snap's stream? It is. It is her stream. She. It's her computer. It's her stream. You share a birthday with Dan tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday, games. That's exciting. Have a great day. That's so fun. Who is Duck? Oh, she's a random townie. She's a random townie. I uh, met her at the bar, and I thought it was so fun that her name was Duck, because that's Dan's name. So... Anyway. Yeah, tomorrow is Dan's birthday, yeah. Tomorrow is his birthday. The way you were swinging your head around to see past Snap. I know. Well, I have to, like, come down here so I can see. <laughs> She's blocking the screen. I'm not complaining. I like her there, but... I also can't see. Come here, horsey. Um... Maybe I'll enter another master competition that I'm more likely to win. I have a secret admirer at the romance festival? I can't go yet. I'm entering a horse competition. I can go after. Today your little sister turned 24. Oh my god, I know. My little sister turned 18 this week. That's my baby sister. What's going on with that? I don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, I won another horse competition. I'm gonna go to the romance festival, I think. You are the little sister? Aww. I'm the oldest. Romance festival, travel with... Oh, I can't bring him. Well. Well. <laughs> You're the middle child? Nice. Dan is the middle child. So I, I understand that. Okay, I'm stinky, but I'm going to the romance festival anyway. Sand my shoe now. You went on a date with your horse to the romance festival? Oh, really? Should I bring my horse too? I can show my horse to the people in the city. I can show my horse the city! Oh, that'll be nice. How old is Dan? He's gonna be 26 tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> you would be very impressed if you saw a horse at a festival. Exactly! And if I was a horse, I would be very impressed to come to the festival. So it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, I'm gonna harvest all these flowers. <laughs> okay, come on. Don't call Dan old, that's mean. Yeah, I'm turning 24 in August, yeah. In a couple weeks. Only Kayla can call Dan old. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. My mom loves birthdays. She gets so excited about birthdays. I think my mom might be more excited for Dan's birthday than Dan is. Like, Dan doesn't care about going to like a birthday dinner. Like he doesn't, my mom is like, what are we doing for Dan's birthday dinner? Like my mom is so excited about Dan's birthday. <laughs> it's really cute actually. <laughs> Cause he doesn't mind that much. Like he doesn't really, I mean, he's excited for his birthday but he doesn't really like, but my mom wants him to celebrate. <laughs> my mom loves birthdays. <laughs> my mom also gets excited about people's half birthdays. So like six months from your birthday, um, she tries to celebrate those too. Like we'll, we'll have like dessert on a half birthday because my mom loves a birthday. She loves a half birthday. She just loves it. <laughs> so my half birthday is Valentine's Day. Six months from August 14th is February 14th, so. <laughs> Do we go all out for his birthday? No, we don't really go all out for birthdays. She just likes birthdays. 
Um, yeah, me, my sister, and Dan are all Leos. Yeah, my sister is only three days before Dan. Her birthday is uh, a couple days ago, so. Anyway. Your birthday's August 15th? Really? Oh, good birthday choice, Janelle. I love that. I hear wedding bells, but they sound cracked. You know what? That's actually right, because I have two boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> You're so right about that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this toilet. <laughs> Leo is the best. You're so right about that, too. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, come on. Use the bathroom. Thank you. This toilet is from City Living. It's uh it talks to you. Your August 15th? Nice. Nice. Yours is August 7th, your boyfriend's is August 7th, your mother-in-law's is August 12th, and your mother-in-law and father-in-law's anniversary is August 5th. Oh my god. Both my grandmas have the same birthday. They're born on March 27th. Different years, but they have the same birthday. Which honestly makes things easy. I say, it's my grandma's birthday. And it's both. <laughs> but they have the same birthday. I always like that. I thought it was kind of cute. I'm gonna go back home. No one cared about my horses at the festival. And my boyfriend wasn't there either. Oh well. Oh well. Oh no. Sorry everyone, I probably made you yawn just then. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Your kids have grown up on the same birthday? That's kind of cute. I think it's fun when birthdays get shared. So, I mean, it's not fun when you're a child because you want all the attention, but I think it's cute. <laughs> Let's go take a shower and then we can get some food. Kayla! Speaking of sharing things, me and Kayla have the same name! <laughs> Hi! Do you want to see my giant goat? Wait, 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 wait. Let me find it. Oh. Oh, and my tiny sheep is there too! Hello. Welcome to my stream. Um, I'm playing Rags to Riches, but <laughs> I, I sized up my goat and I sized down my sheep. And now look. My sheep is this big. Hope you like it. <laughs> How was your stream, Kayla? <laughs> Uh, friends, my chat, if you don't follow my friend Kayla, you really should. I really mean that when I say it. Um, she, first of all, you already like a simmer named Kayla. So what's one more? Like, you, you should go follow her. <laughs> it's a, it's a tested concept. You like it here, you'll like it there. Um, but go, <laughs> if you like one, you'll like the other. But go watch her stream. You'll enjoy it. She plays a lot of fun sim stuff like we do, so. Um, I'm sure she had to run. Um, but anyway, go follow her. Go follow her. <laughs> anyway, that's my tiny goat and tiny sheep. Oh, and that's my cat named Krobus. Okay. Let me clean that up. Oh, I was going to talk to this guy. I'm trying to make him like me better. Try to console. I don't know. Oh, I could kiss him in the barn. That could be cute. She's currently burning her kitchen down. Kayla is? Are you joking? No, tell me you're telling me a joke right now. That's, you're joking, right? Is everything okay? Kayla had to run to play with fire in the kitchen. What? <laughs> Do I need to be alarmed? Do I need to be worried about this? Oh, she's cooking with a new thing. Okay, okay. So we just don't know if she's gonna burn the house down or not. All right, all right. There's not a guaranteed house burning down thing. It's just a possibility. That makes me feel better. Okay. Oh, the kiss got rejected? Oh no. I don't even think this guy likes me, to be honest. I wasn't paying attention. I was worried about Kayla and the fire. Uh-oh. Tell a joke about a horse, of course. Possible house boarding. We'll follow up later. Okay. 
Yeah, he asked me to be his boyfriend, but I don't think he likes me. Aside from that, it's very confusing. Like, we're... He never talks to me. I'm just gonna go to bed. Go to sleep. He didn't like you. It's okay. It's okay. Do we like this guy? I mean, I liked him. He had good traits. I do have two boyfriends, but this one, we don't have very high romance bar with because he's never around and I can't invite him over. And Riley doesn't like me. Oh my god, not again. That's the second time I've gotten this pop-up about Storm getting old. If my goat dies, I'm never playing Sims again. I'm, I'm really upset about that. Like, actually upset. <sighs> Can I use Social Bunny? That's how I started. <laughs> we are friends with him on Social Bunny. Oh, wrong button. Let me show you. That's how I first started flirting with him. It's by... On Social Bunny, sending in some DMs. You need a goat emote now? Oh my god, I literally have one. Wait, I don't have it uploaded to Twitch right now. Let me show you guys this. If any of you are around on my streams, like, actual years ago, actual years ago, you might remember this, but I have a goat emote. I totally forgot. I just am not using it currently because my emote slots are full. But look, I used to have this goat emote. Like, we're talking like 2017. I don't know why. But I had this emote of a goat. And now we have goats in the Sims. I should have brought it back. I forgot. That's funny. <laughs> It's really kind of scary. <laughs> I like it. I think it's cute in a scary way. <laughs> yeah, I remember it being a joke, but I don't remember like what the joke was. That's not helpful, but I don't, <laughs> I just know there was a joke, but I don't know, I don't know what the joke was. <laughs> It's from Gertrude and The Sims 3 because of a dog? Oh, that sounds right. I think you're right. That's so weird, looking back on those things. Yeah, Simsy Subtle was also a Gertrude joke, yeah. Gertrude was the Sim that I had in The Sims 3. She had, like, all zebra print all the time. It's so weird to me. Like, I... I always kind of forget that like some of you guys were there too. <laughs> it's such a it's such a uh, cool but also a little bit strange feeling when like you remember something about me or like a thing that I did that I don't remember. <laughs> like when you remember the context of one of my jokes more than I do. <laughs> That's so cool. Like how weird is that 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 happens? You know, it's pretty cool. You like know all the lore better than I do. <laughs> Okay. Why is full of unicorn? Oh, because this horse had a baby with a unicorn. Let me see if I can find it. It's this one, Blaze. We had a baby with. This poor horsey still needs to get its fun up. Watch you for so long without making a Twitch account. You know what, Star House? I've been having that problem, not with the account thing, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube on my TV recently um, before I go to bed, which I've been doing for the last couple years now, I guess, but it's been happening more often than I used to. And um, because of that, on my TV, I don't really like think about or realize always that I'm not subscribed to someone that I thought I was subscribed to. Because I see my recommended all the time and I'm watching on the TV, so I don't really, like, notice. And then all of a sudden I realize, oh my god, I've been watching this YouTuber for six months and I'm not subscribed to them. <laughs> and I've seen every single one of their videos for, like, six months. <laughs> and I didn't even realize. <laughs> but it's easy to not notice when you're watching on the TV with just using your recommended page. And it, like, it, the recommended shows their new videos, so... I didn't, I, like, don't even realize. It happens to me a lot. So sorry to those YouTubers, big fan. <laughs> but you were in stream for two years before you followed me. <laughs> Iconic, 
Iconic. Your hygiene is low. Here, I'll take care of you. Do that with Twitch. Yeah, I don't do it as much with Twitch. One problem that I have with Twitch though is the the reason that I don't follow people on Twitch is is more from accident and then embarrassment. Cause there will be like streamers that I follow on Twitter or like have met in person that I've known for a while. And then I realize, oh my God, I don't follow your Twitch channel. And then I only ever notice that I don't follow their Twitch channel when they're live. And oh my God, I am I am not gonna follow you while you're live and have you get like a pop-up and then like have you know that I wasn't following you this whole time and I didn't notice. And then the other thing is, cause I'm not really on Instagram that much. I totally don't realize that I'm not following like friends of mine on Instagram or like, you know, like Twitch friends, like streamers that I know, not like close friends usually, but I like don't realize that I've known this streamer for like a year and a half and I didn't follow him on Instagram because like most of the streamer interactions happen on Twitter. So I like, I get actually embarrassed when I realize that and I have to follow them and then they're gonna know that like this whole time I didn't follow. And then I'm like, what if they knew I didn't follow them before? And they're like, why didn't you follow me? But it was not on purpose, I didn't know. Ugh. It's embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. Some of your friends I forgot to follow for years. <laughs> which, which friends, Brew? Which friends are at the bottom of your list, Brew? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's different when it's my friends. You can't get away with not following my friends. It's worse when it's your friends that you don't follow. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. No, no, tell us, tell us, tell us. Who? Who? That happens to you with Shella? You waited for the live to end to follow? <laughs> no, I totally get that. I totally, I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, it's so easy to, I just, you, it's easy to not realize that you don't follow, especially if you like see them around all the time and you've like been there before and you just didn't notice and then you don't want to get, you don't want to be like seen following. It really isn't that big of a deal. I just overthink it. I overthink it. Glue on and deli you didn't follow on Twitch? Oh my goodness, bro. I mean, it, it's easy to, you might follow them everywhere else, but then not realize, you know? You know? You once forgot to follow your boyfriend on Instagram? <laughs> For how long? He doesn't need your follow. He doesn't need your follow. <laughs> oh my stupid vegetarian I keep making things that he can't eat oh my god you'd think that I as a person who hasn't eaten meat in like eight years would not make this mistake with my sims but my sims aren't usually vegetarian so I don't really like think about it much you've been thinking about getting to know Santa better as a friend yeah go for it you don't even have your boyfriend's phone number? Oh my goodness. I I didn't know Dan's UK phone number for a while, but that's because we didn't usually like, you know, text on it. Like I, I wasn't gonna call him on his phone. I was gonna like FaceTime him or Discord call him because international. So I didn't have Dan's UK number memorized for a while. I, I did learn it. And then I learned his, obviously his American phone number, but like I, why would I need his UK phone number, you know? <laughs> What's that gonna do for me? <laughs> Macy, thanks for the nine months. I really think that like, I, it's so weird. I think a lot of you probably relate to this, but I used to memorize phone numbers like so easily and so often. And nowadays it's just not really a thing that we think about that much. Like I, it's weird to think about like when you were a kid, imagining that like you wouldn't know someone close to you's phone number because you used to have to like memorize like every everyone's, right? But now you don't have to do that. Like it's just in your phone. It's probably not good. <laughs> you probably should know stuff for your for emergencies. I gotta be honest, I don't know my brother's phone number. I couldn't tell you Brett's phone number. I need to memorize it. I like I really should have Brett's phone number memorized. But I still have like my like grandparents' numbers and like our old house phone that we don't even have anymore. Like I still have all those numbers memorized. And we don't even have those numbers anymore. But anyway. You know your childhood library card number? Exactly! We have all these like old ones stored in our brains and we don't think about the ones that we need now anymore. <laughs> That's so funny how that happens. Okay. 
Oh, man, your mom's memorized? Yeah. My parents have, have my parents have had the same number since I was a kid, so I know my parents' phone numbers. I need to work on remember, remembering Brett's. You don't know your husband's number? Yeah, I had to memorize Dan's. I'm glad that I did, though. Barely know your own number? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have your credit card number memorized? I haven't memorized my card number. I probably should, but I haven't. So, no, you don't call yourself exactly. How would you know it? <laughs> How would you know it? It is funny thinking about that though. Your parents just got rid of their landline and now you have a useless number memorized? Yeah, my parents got rid of their landline a while ago. My parents are getting rid of cable soon. I'm actually kind of excited for them. They're, they're cutting cable, which there's, I mean, they barely watch TV, so you don't need it. My mom's gonna get rid of it though. Proud of you, mom. Your mom just told you that, really? <laughs> yeah, big moment. Yeah, I never bought cable when I moved out. I've never had cable, so. My parents have had it, so. Anyway, they have, my dad mostly watches YouTube. And like Twitch streamers. My dad sends me links to Twitch streams that he's watching sometimes. Like the other night he was watching this like artist that was airbrushing, um, like uh, painting. My dad, like, my dad's one of us. He watches Twitch people. <laughs> so anyway, you had cable in your apartment because you had to get it to have internet there, but you really used it. Yeah, a lot of the people that I know that have cable still only have it because, like, their apartment just has it. Like, you have to just pay, like, the, the apartment building, like, there's a cable and internet package and the, you just have it. Like, you pay them for it and you don't get to choose that you don't want it. You can't pick which company you want. Like, you just get that. <laughs> um, and so my friends that have cable have it because of that. Most of my friends wouldn't buy it on their own, so... Yeah, like your current landlord provides cable and you haven't used it a single time. Yeah. I don't watch TV, like ever. I watch it, I'll, I'll watch it on like streaming services, but. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Koro, I would assume so. I don't actually, to be honest with you, I don't really know how much money cable costs because I've never paid for it myself. And I have like my, I don't know, I've never bought it. So I don't know how much money cable costs, but I would assume that a TV license in the UK is cheaper than cable by probably a lot. But I don't, I don't know how much cable costs. <laughs> Not a clue. Okay, intensely train. Used to pay $200 for cable and internet. Oh my God. Two to three hundred dollars or more? Yeah, way more expensive than streaming services. My god. Two hundred dollars? Very, very basic where you are is two hundred dollars a month. Yours is 140. 150 plus if you want good channels. Oh my god. That is so expensive. Yeah, yeah, yikes. How much is a UK, how much is a UK TV license? Again, I don't know how much that costs either because I don't live in the UK. <laughs> wow. Yearly TV license is about $100, wow. Interesting. That cable is so, I knew it was expensive, but I don't think I realized that it was like $200 a month. I don't know how much I thought it was, but I didn't know it was like 200. I would never use that cable, I would never use cable. I have no reason for that at all. I thought my $8 crunch roll was expensive. I mean, the thing is though, it is, but just not as expensive as that. It's the sports, it is the sports. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people watch a lot of sports. My grandparents watch almost exclusively sports. Like almost exclusively, literally 24 seven, they got sports on. They love basketball. Always watching sports. So you didn't have sports and it was expensive. Yeah, wow. I have no interest, absolutely no interest in watching sports at all. <laughs> 
your dad only watches sports and the news. That is such dad vibes. That is like such a dad thing to do. My dad used to watch um, like the Discovery Channel and the news. <laughs> he doesn't really watch TV anymore, but I have memories of that when I was younger. Cause I used to think that a lot of the shows on there were scary when I was like eight. It would be like deadliest catch and stuff like that. And I would think it was so scary, <laughs> but I was like a little kid, so. What did I know? Anyway, you have Twitch and YouTube and Disney Plus. Yeah, those are good picks though. Um, I'm gonna enter a competition. Oh, that horsey is like upset. So maybe not. Are you in a better mood? I'm gonna try another master Western pleasure competition. I don't think we could do it, but I'm gonna try. Do we have Sky in the US? No, I don't think so. I don't think we have Sky. Um, we have similar companies like that, but I don't think we have the same one though. <gasps> oh, it worked! Oh my God. We are a triumphant winner of the Western Pleasure Division. And now I've entered all of them so I can enter the Ultimate Horse Championship. Yes, I've got master in all of them. Okay, we have to start working on skills. There we go. Dakota and Dax and Risa and Trace, amazing. Thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Okay. You watch Disney Plus, Netflix, and Peacock? Yeah, those are good ones. I don't watch that much stuff on Netflix, but didn't Sky disband? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. We, I have Hulu and actually it's got quite a lot of good things on it, but I also watch a lot of reality TV. <laughs> so Hulu is good for me. <laughs> I watch a lot of things on Hulu. <laughs> so Sky is like cable, but it's a company in the UK from my understanding. Um, I am a Floridian, but um, yeah. The way you whispered that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cable says if you don't, if you don't want to choose what to watch, just have it on in the background. Yeah, I will say, whenever I go to a hotel, I usually put like HGTV on, and that's kind of good vibes. I kind of miss, I kind of miss that era of, of life where you would just turn the TV on and just watch whatever was on. Because you, people, now you have to pick things. Life is so hard with all these choices. <laughs> Um, I watch UK Love Island with a VPN. So. There's commercials, that's the thing. That's the problem. Food Network in the background, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not me thinking you size up a giant basketball for the goat. Oh no, the baseball, yeah, this is a, it's a horse ball, so it's supposed to be that size, but it is, it is appropriately goat sized now, I guess. So that's good. Oh my god, Christine, I didn't even think about that. So, Christine's baby, who is now a toddler, if you only watch streaming services, you're right. She's never lived a life with commercials on TV. Oh my god, the new generation is going to be so anti-ad. What are they going to do when those kids grow up? They're not gonna, they're gonna be so anti, like, ads like that. Interesting. That's cool. I mean, we're already there, but it's gonna be even worse when, like, those, because at least we grew up watching TV with ads, you know? Because we're already anti-ad, but, like, we're, we at least are accustomed to watching shows, at least on regular TV with ads, but... A generation that's never had to watch TV with ads? If they only watch streaming stuff? Interesting. You're talking about American banking with Dan? Are you joking? Dan's talking about banks on his stream? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's doing his 
birthday stream and he's talking about American banking. Okay. <laughs> wow, he really is old. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about ads, so it's not much better, is it? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get my sim some food here. Wait, is that meat? Oh, it's faux meat protein plate. Okay, that's fine. He loves to talk about banks and grocery stores. Yeah, people, I mean, here's the thing. People ask Dan a lot about stuff because he's like a recent immigrant to the US. People ask him like all the time about stuff that's different between here and home in the UK. Like people are so curious. Even like strangers here will be like, oh my God. Do you like the queen? Also, what do you think about, you know, um, Publix? <laughs> like they ask these questions, like this just, it comes up all the time. Um, so it, it makes sense that he ends up talking about it a lot because people just ask about it all the time. So literally every time, I'm not kidding. It's like, do you like the, well, may she rest in peace. <laughs> do you like the royal family? I should say <laughs> they'll, they'll be like, uh, who's your team? Like about soccer. Sometimes they'll say, do you support any, like, any football teams you like? And they'll say football to him because they know he's British. Um, and then they'll, they'll ask him, like, about some random thing about America. Like, something, like, about a grocery store. Or, like, what's this, like, that's different, you know? <laughs> and he has to be like, no, I don't care about the royal family. No, I don't care about soccer. <laughs> so, he never has an answer to the question. I always joke that he should just pick one so that he could say and then answer their question. But the problem is, if he just picks one, what if they're a fan of that team and they ask him follow-up questions that he can't answer? Because that would be bad. You know? Does he care about rugby? No, he's not really a big sports person, much like me. As an American, soccer should be called football. <laughs> I actually kind of agree, but I like the name soccer and I um, like to make fun of Dan, so soccer's better. <laughs> okay. Your boyfriend's American, but he loves football. Oh, really? That's fun. Yeah, I don't care about sports. I'm glad that Dan doesn't care about sports. What's the team that John Green likes? Pick that one. There you go. That's an idea. <laughs> you know who I like? The Maple Leafs. That's my team. Mm -hmm. AFC Wimbledon. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um... What's wrong with- oh my god, bills are expensive. What's wrong with the baby horse? Maybe I'll come take care of you, baby horse. Isn't that hockey? Yeah. It's the only sports team I like. And I don't actually like them. I started out as a joke because I learned that it was a team and I, th I thought that was so funny that I decided to like them. So. Do you follow the World Cup? No. No. You know what's so funny? I'm gonna tell you a story about Sasha, about Vixella, because she was just in the uh, in the UK. She went to Paris for TwitchCon with a bunch of our friends, so like Jesse and Steph and Sasha were all at, uh, in Paris for TwitchCon, and then she stayed in the UK for a couple days to visit them. Um, and you know how there was those pictures of, maybe you don't know, but there was a, a bunch of pictures of Ariana Grande at Wimbledon, um, and Sasha's a big fan of Ariana Grande. <laughs> and Sasha goes, oh my god, Steph! Is this that thing we walked past? <laughs> and the first time she heard of Wimbledon was because Ariana Grande went to it. <laughs> it made me laugh. It really did make me laugh. <laughs> I, I mean, I relate. Um, but I get it. She said, is that that thing we walked past? <laughs> but what is Wimbledon? It's the tennis thing. Big tennis. Why is Ariana Grande at Wimbledon? There was a bunch of celebrities there. I don't know. It's the big tennis thing though. Isn't it a stadium? Yeah, it's like a place, you know? I only know about it because Tom Hiddleston goes. <laughs> It's a, it's an event and a location, is what it is. 
So, no, Wimbledon is known in the U.S., Millie. I think people that know, it's sort of, like, similar to the other big sporting events, you know? So, it's technically a private club, but they host one of the annual Grand Slams. See? And there's multiple tennis courts in the Wimbledon tennis area. I, I knew that, and I didn't just repeat it from chat. I'm telling you all, because I know everything about sports. So, I see rich people. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> it's been featured on The Simpsons and everything. <laughs> there you go. No, I never played tennis. I've never followed tennis. I don't know anything about sports, really. Unfortunately. Really? Tika Stan account, that's interesting. You know about Wimbledon from concerts, really? <laughs> it's so funny what people's like frame of reference to stuff is, you know? But anyway, do I know Messi? Yeah, I know about very famous athletes, a handful of them. Shocked, you're literally built like an athlete. <gasps> okay, I, okay. <laughs> I know I'm so big and strong, so you might think, wow, Kayla doesn't care about sports? <laughs> yeah, I heard that he's in Miami now. That's interesting. My home, sort of. <laughs> sort of. You should go meet him. Yeah, do you think he likes The Sims? I bet he's a big Sims fan, huge Sims fan. Remember when you met LeBron James and he subbed to you on Twitch? <laughs> no, listen, 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 listen. When I went to Memphis to visit St. Jude uh, back in April, um, the night that we were there, when my plane landed, that night there was a playoff game uh, that the Lakers were in, and the they were staying in the hotel that we were staying in. So when I got there, they were like setting up barricades outside to like keep fans out and they had security all in the lobby because the Lakers were staying at the hotel I went to for the St. Jude event. I didn't actually meet LeBron James. <laughs> I never saw him, uh, but we joked about it afterward. I was like, yeah, I met LeBron James because <laughs> I was in the same hotel as him for about four hours because <laughs> they checked out the day I checked in, but. Um, anyway, yeah, they were at the same hotel as us. That was actually really wild because they, they fully had like security everywhere and they had the barricades outside and there was all kinds of basketball fans and like Lakers jerseys outside. Um, so that was kind of interesting, but, but yeah, I, t I met LeBron James. Yeah. I was in the elevator with one of the guys on the team. Um, and he was a very tall white man. So I can only assume that, and he had like Lakers merch on. So I can only assume he was on the team. I don't actually know. But I was in an elevator with him. Well, I'm lying. He was coming out of the elevator when I went into the elevator. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Cassie and Urbis and Strawberry Milk and Shay and Bottle Chaos, thank you for the subs. All right, Torsies, it's time to work. <laughs> they met me. Right, 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 right. They met me. Yeah, absolutely. Don't panic. Jump. Go. Duck. Oh, you had a good time with Santa. Perfect. What are you doing? Oh, is it storming? Is that why? Are you upset because of the storm? That's so annoying. You know what? Maybe I'll spend the day making nectar then. Oh, these are probably finely aged. I forgot about them. I haven't come down here in ages. Early midlife crisis. Oh my god. I'm gonna be an elder in five days. Oh, my sim's gonna die. 12,000 simoleon. Okay, we need to have a child. We have to think about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Beth Kitty, thank you for the subs. Start making vitality nectar. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, don't discard it. That's kind of fun. I need to get a death flower and I need to get spinach. 
Let me go see if I can find the guy with the nectar. Adopt, maybe? I don't know. I need to rebuild the house. Nah, we have time. If I can if I can get some vitality nectar, we'll be okay. We'll be able to um, extend our lives. You know? <laughs> okay, do you see anyone with did you see my guy, maybe? Let me enter a competition with you. Do you want to do an intermediate show jumping competition? You can ask him for a death flower and he'll give you one. We just have to wait for that pop-up where it's like, there we go. I'd be happy to purchase your homemade nectar. And I think he'll give it to me because I'm literally dating him. Like he's my actual boyfriend. I just haven't seen him in probably, like, a couple weeks. <laughs> Ricardo, thank you for the sub! Anyway, don't worry about it. Sure, I haven't seen him in weeks, but he's not easy to contact. Since when? Oh, since a while ago. He's, yeah, he's one of my boyfriends, I should clarify. I, I do have more than one boyfriend. Um, ask about longevity. Stress about lost time. My life backstory is of little importance to me now. What's intriguing is how I continue on. I love that. I think it's so cool that he's immortal. Um... I want to ask you for, like, a death flower. I guess I don't know you that well. I did know you well before, but then I didn't see you for weeks, and now our relationship is like, kind of gone down. What if we get struck by lightning? <laughs> what then? <laughs> Actually, what if we get struck by lightning? <laughs> Um, I haven't asked him for the recipe, I don't think. Because I unlocked the recipe on my own. Hmm. Hmm. Tell a funny story. Discuss horse riding. Brag about the ranch. I don't know, just keep talking to him. That's all the nectar for today? No, don't leave. You can't leave. You actually can't leave. I'm serious. Um, please stay. Why doesn't he like me? You're stressing me out. Is the death flower in the rare seed packet? I don't think so. Oh my god. I guess, if I must, I could maybe go try and buy it from Agnes. We can see if his ex-wife has one. Yeah, there's an option to ask for ingredients. I just don't have that option right now. That's what I'm, like, a little bit confused by. Is that I don't have the... The option to ask him for... Enthused about nectar making? I don't know. Maybe because you're tense? No, I think it's because we don't know him well enough. Which is weird because I'm dating him. But. You've got death from rare seed packets? Okay. Also, I don't think I can add him on Social Bunny. I don't think it's possible. Because I would have done that. Oh, it's letting me. Before he wasn't an option. Oh, that's better. I couldn't before. It wouldn't let me before. Um, I don't know. Suave kiss, maybe? I'm cheating on my boyfriend. 
Maybe because I'm with him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or you cheat it through debug? Oh my god. Well, he just left. Let me go see if I can buy one. When he's on duty, you can't do interactions like that? Oh, really? That's weird. Break up with him once you've gotten it. I think I probably will. I hate to say it, but... Uh oh, sorry, I yawned. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. So sorry. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, social party can be pretty helpful for relationships, because you can, like, message them repeatedly and build it. Like, build it faster. Your sim had a baby with the mysterious rancher while dating another sim, you say. That is really quite something. Okay, let me see if we can buy a garden shop item. Ah! Can you buy death flowers in Tartosa? Oh! Can we? I don't know. Why did you bring your horse with you here? Um, she has a lot of things. But in fact, oh, she has some spinach. I need that. Nothing else good. Yeah, they come out for sale in the magic realm too. Hmm. Well, I don't think there'll be any at this grocery shop. We could probably try and check the... Um, no, we could try and check the other place. I want to go to Tartosa. Because they have, like, the flower stand. Oh my god! I'm sorry, do you have enough pets? Tom, Pickles, Chester, Tammy, Muffin, Bobby, Dale, Vern, Rosie, and Kelpie. They've also had some extra kids. Oh, I love the name Daisy, that's so cute. Wow. They have a lot of dogs. How is that possible? That's from Neighborhood Stories, and I have uh, the maximum household size of this, of my game is increased to 24. Um, Cause I use it sometimes for like various videos and stuff. Um, so they just keep adopting. Wow. It's like an animal shelter. I kind of love that to be honest. Okay. <laughs> um, I was gonna come, oh, it closed at 6 p.m. Well. I guess we could ride the horse around out here. Go for an intense ride while we're here. No? Never mind. <laughs> I guess I'll just go home. <laughs> I'll try and get a death flower tomorrow. Oh well. Is it only lagging for you? Ah, Janina, I'm not dropping any frames right now, so I don't think that it's on my end. Um, it lagged? Oh, for you too? Ah, Twitch was having some issues yesterday, so maybe it's a Twitch thing. Because I'm not dropping any frames. It, like, I'm, like, in the green. I don't get it. That's so weird. I think it might be, like, a Twitch server type of issue. Because I'm not having any problems. On my end, that I can see. That's really weird. Definitely Twitch again for another stream, it was the same thing. Okay, that's good to know that it's Twitch and not me. Well, it's not good that it's Twitch and not me, but at least it's not my fault. That's weird. Yours never lagged. Madison, I wonder, it must be a Twitch server thing then, maybe. If it didn't happen to everybody. That's so weird. I don't know. Oh my god. Why do I keep yawning? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I Every time I say it, it becomes like a thing and then I yawn more, but then you're all gonna yawn and it's like everybody's yawning and Twitch is yawning and making the stream lag. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Twitch thing then. Because it happened a little bit yesterday too. But I'm my stream's not doing anything different, so. 
That's so weird. That's so, so, so weird. Don't eat that. That's meat. You can open this. You know, if any of you were here yesterday, you know how I got those little bird things and I put them on the wall? That's what these feathers are. Your pets can like bring you feathers um, and then you can hang them up and it gives you little collectibles. But I, I put those in my build yesterday, so you might have seen me do that. People are like, what are those? That, that's what it is. It's like little feather wall decor. It's kind of cute. But that's a collection your sims can try and do. I actually like that a lot. Yeah, you can hang them up. It's, it's super cool. It's easy to not know that you can hang them up because they're like just a feather in your inventory, but on the wall it becomes a painting or a picture or whatever. Get leftovers, okay. Everyone, can I go to the magic realm if I'm not a magician? Oh, cookie aged up. A magician, I meant a- <gasps> My horse! Okay, 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 hold on. Yes, okay, good, I never go there, so. Let me get my unicorn all set up quickly. <laughs> Hello, my unicorn. Um, I wanted you to have like a white or maybe a blue horn or let's do that one because you have the blue hair. Do I like the blue hair? Yeah, I think I do because I've already had a horse with pink hair, so I kind of like the blue. Let me make sure I give you like some cute outfits. You could have a little bow. That might be cute. And then... These things aren't really speaking to me. I like it though. Okay. That'll be cute. And then this can be... a light color also. I love horses. Could I change the tail color to match the main color? They are they are matching by default, Shara. You can't make them unmatching. Um, I'm pretty sure. Is that correct? Isn't that white? It's a it's a light color blue. Oh, I was gonna get feathers. That's right. Let me go back. We couldn't do it when it was a baby, so we we're gonna do it when it grew up. You can make the tail match differently? Oh no, you can, sorry. The thing you can't do is paint the, and do sw color swatches on the main. You can't like pick your own color, but you can make them separate colors because you can do like, um, you pick like with the main, you can say match or not, and it can be a different color. You can have their bangs be a different color too if you wanted. The thing you can't do is pick a fancy like, custom color for it, annoyingly. I like those, I think that's cute. Okay, there we go. Anyway, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I know you, there's something you couldn't do with the mains. I haven't had them be different colors yet. I do think it's silly that they can have their bangs be different colors than the main though. I've noticed that more than I've noticed the tails, to be honest. <laughs> um, I haven't really messed with the tails that much, so. Hey, Gigi, thank you for the five sub. And Moxie, thank you for the 16 months. I know three of the dogs in our neighbor or in that random house were, were like triplets, I bet, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Clean up. Go to sleep. Who's Cookie's parents? Uh, Cookie's mom is this horse and Cookie's grandma is this horse. Um, her dad is this unicorn that belongs to Morgan Ember. Good night, Gabby. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed this stream today. Midlife crisis alert. Oh, he's got a desire to create. He wants to write a book. Woodwork. Um, I don't think I'll go to the magic realm tonight to buy a death flower, but I'll probably go to the magic realm tomorrow to buy a death flower. I think that is my plan. So we will do that. The woodworking is kind of fun. One thing I like about this midlife crisis is how, oh my God, it keeps telling me Storm's getting old. <laughs> but 
but I like how the midlife crisis, um, it kind of gives you ideas and it's cross pack. So like it's, it's trying to get me to do flower arranging and woodworking, which are both things that I don't do that often. Um, so it's kind of cool how it encourages you to try some of those other things, you know? Um, have I tried making the goats huge yet? Oh, yes, here's my goat. I also have a tiny sheep, hold on. I thought that leaf was my sheep just then. Um, if you guys see like a little tiny white thing, let me know, okay? I might harvest all that stuff. And then you can probably weed everything. Um, oh, there it is. My sheep is smelly, but there it is. I told you it's very small. <laughs> it's very, very, very small. <laughs> oh, it fell asleep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked off of this. Oops. Do you need to clean storm? Oh my goodness. It is a very tiny, 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 tiny sheep. <laughs> okay. Um, just so you all know, I'll mention this probably again at the end of the stream, but I thought I'll mention it right now too. Um, I am not gonna stream for about a week starting tomorrow. This is like my last stream for a, a tiny bit. I'm gonna take a few days off, I think is my plan. So I'm gonna post in the Discord like schedule updates and stuff, but just so you all know, I won't be here tomorrow or for another few days, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna take a little a little uh, break from streaming. I still, I pre-recorded a bunch of YouTube videos, so I have a bunch of YouTube videos ready to go up. Um, but I won't be streaming for about a week. So anyway, I'll post updates in the Discord, but I wanted to remind you again um, so that no one's like, wait a minute, where are you? Oh, my hay bale got struck by lightning. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we stand breaks and self-care. There you go, Christine. There you go. But it'll be nice. So spend some time with my family and stuff. Um, my string lights too. Did my string lights get struck too? Oh, they did. I never noticed that. Hmm. <laughs> That's no good. Anyway, does it get tiring streaming every day? No, I don't think so, Kay. I mean, I guess... Uh, like, for example, in May, when I did my uh, big charity fundraiser, and I was, like, streaming constantly and, like, on all the time, there is something kind of weird about, like, being on camera so, so constantly, which I think is kind of strange to, like, live stream your whole day every day for, like, multiple days is kind of weird, but it's fun. Um, so I think that part is kind of strange, but um, it's not a bad thing. Um, but anyway, I will miss you all. <laughs> it's always weird not streaming for me because I'm so, like, I stream every day, usually, like, so often. It's always weird when I'm, like, not streaming. Um, but anyway. Dan's birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, part of why I won't be streaming tomorrow. So, you want to stream Sims you're so awkward on camera? You know, Mariana, everybody's awkward on camera at first. No one's like bored and good at talking to a camera. Um, it takes practice, just like anything. So if you if you want to stream, go for it. I say just do it. And I, I don't think that I don't think that you'll be as awkward as you're telling yourself you are. I, I think that you'll do a good job at it, to be honest. And with anything, it just takes practice to get used to it. I I mean, I used to I started my YouTube channel with no face cam. Back in the day, I think most of us simmers didn't really like none of us really did face cam videos for a long time. And then like the tides kind of changed around like 2017, which I mean, I got a camera, which was part of it. <laughs> but we all kind of started doing face cam more often, but like everyone did face camless videos back in the day. A lot of gaming content was like that um, back in the day. But like I when I started doing face cam videos, I felt so awkward being on camera and stuff. It was harder than just doing a voiceover for me, but it just, you just get used to it. It takes some practice, but don't like, don't psych yourself out too much. You know, if you want to do it, try it. And even if you if you end up not liking it, you don't have to keep doing it. But it's I think it's worth trying if you if it's something that you think you would like. 
everybody starts somewhere, so. Yeah, and face reveals, exactly. People used to do face reveals. A lot of gaming creators, uh, like I said, made no face cam videos. So, I mean, that still happens a lot in different communities. A lot of Minecraft videos have no face cam and stuff still, so. Anyway, I will abs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a whole bunch of stream incentives that we're gonna do. I unfortunately can't tell you guys what day I'm gonna do that live stream though, the Disney one, because I don't think it's a good idea to give advance notice um, of where my physical location is going to be, <laughs> if that makes sense. So it's gonna be like a day of kind of announcement when I do that, um, just for safety reasonings. But I, I think that makes sense, uh, unfortunately. So it's probably best to, to have that be not publicized beforehand <laughs> so anyway um i think everybody's like yeah that's a good idea <laughs> but anyway yeah we'll, we're gonna do it don't worry um it's simply too hot to be honest with you so we have to wait <laughs> it's actually really unpleasant right now outside so <laughs> maybe we'll do it in like september less crowds less um still hot but less crowd so Anyway, are you done yet? Get yourself some food, buddy. Oh, I haven't talked to my cat in ages. When you go outside right now, it feels like you're in the shower because of how humid and hot it is. It's horrible. It's so hot. It's actually like really unpleasant. <laughs> and you try and spend like multiple hours outside. Ew, ew. Was it windy where you were? Oh, that's honestly, that is kind of ref like a refreshing change of pace after some heat, you know? You were sweating sitting still outside at the fair earlier? Okay, Christine. That's cute. Think about where I'm from for a second. <laughs> oh, oh, you were sweating when you were outside sitting still? Imagine what it's like here. Imagine what I have to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he didn't eat. I'm just gonna say he did. I have him in the food glitch again. Hush, Floridian. That's mean, Christine. There's no need to be rude. Wait, my horses are tired. I'm gonna do another competition. I am not meant for humidity. No, no one is. No one is. It's terrible. It's not right. Stone House, thanks for the 39 months. And Mally, thank you for the three months. Thank you so much. I live in South Texas, the oven of the United States. Ew, ew. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, the heat is miserable. Summertime is actually miserable. It's so bad. It's just not pleasant. What are you upset about? Your mid oh, your midlife crisis. Okay, that's fair enough, I guess. Um, let's enter, do you want to try, you won't win that if we try an expert one. You won't win like any of these. Let's try an expert of this, see if you can get a gold medal in it. Sorry, my cat is here again, so I have to like lean over so I can see around her. Because <laughs> my cat is sitting on my desk staring at the screen. <sighs> yeah, Blue Jay, if I'm leaving the house, I put sunscreen on everywhere, every day. If I'm, if I'm just going to be in my house, I always put, uh, SPF on my face, even when I'm gonna be inside, um, just as a, it's a good habit to have, but if I'm leaving the house, absolutely, 100%, sunscreen on every day. And you probably should too, even if you don't live in a hot and sunny place, um, at least on your face, you probably should put some SPF on if you can. Um, so, that's so scary, Christine. Like, actually scary, that they were getting that badly injured from the burns of the ground. I watched um, this video of this guy on TikTok who baked cookies in his car because <laughs> it was so hot. I've always seen people joke about doing that, but he had like a uh, like one of those uh, food thermometers and he put it in the car to make sure that they got to like a safe temperature and they got up to like 170 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So he did it. He like actually baked them in the car. Isn't that scary? So he left his like left the cookies in the car um, at while he was at work, and then when he came out, they were baked. 
<laughs> Isn't that horrendous? <sighs> yeah. The car would smell good afterward, wouldn't it? That would be nice. Fresh car baked cookies. Yum. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> hey, Bex, thanks for the 34 months. Get it? Their name is Hey Bex. And then I said, Hey, Bex, thanks for the 34 months. <laughs> and Lilac, thank you for the 37 months. I appreciate that. 99 degrees and thundering last night in Arizona. Oh my god. It hasn't stormed storm today. It was raining a lot this morning, but it hasn't stormed here today. It stormed last night, bad. But not today. Lady in Texas made bread in her mailbox. Oh my god. <laughs> Wonder if they were edible. The cookie dough? I think, um, I don't remember exactly what temperature it's supposed to get to to be safe to eat. Um, the cookies, it's because of the flour, actually. People always think that cookie dough is like raw eggs that you can't eat, but actually you're more likely to get sick from the flour because they don't like clean it. So you have to cook it for it to like kill anything. So it's the flour that's not safe. And I think that it got to a high enough temperature at long for long enough that it was safe to eat. So, but yeah, flour is full of like icky things. <laughs> you eat so much raw cookie dough. Yeah, I never knew it was a flour thing until I was an adult. I didn't learn that until kind of recently. You always think it's the eggs, but it's the flour. Um, you can like microwave the flour first to cook it so that you can eat the cookie dough raw. People will like make flour specifically. Um, people get worried about getting salmonella from the raw eggs, but I think the flour is actually a bigger risk. Um, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> You've never gotten sick from a cookie dough either? Yeah, I don't think that people do get sick from it often. It's probably still a pretty slim chance, right? But I don't know. It's good to think about, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to be prepared. Um, raw eggs can be safe to eat depending on where you are. Yeah, I, um, I don't know anything about eggs. <laughs> Let's be real for a second. I, I wouldn't eat an egg anyway, so <laughs> I don't know, um, but. Yeah, that's interesting. Love making edible cookie dough for funsies. Yeah, that is fun to do. Me and Dan used to do that a lot when we were still long distance. We would both like at this, this is like kind of cringe. Don't judge me. We would both make, it's cute though. We would both make like a uh, cookie dough or like a mug cake kind of vibe at the same time and then eat it. Cause we were, you know, long distance anyway. <laughs> we used to do that a lot, so. It was, uh, it was kind of fun. We also used to order pizza at the same time sometimes on the weekends. I would get like order pizza for lunch and he would order pizza for dinner because it was a five hour time difference, which kind of stinks, but we would do that sometimes too. Um, anyway, you're in a longest relationship. I'm sorry, baby. It really does suck, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah, we did that for like three years. And you know what's weird is Dan has almost lived here for two years <laughs> as of like a couple days from now. He moved here on the 30th of July in 2021. Um, so we were long distance for like three years, but now he's lived here for like two years. So weird. <laughs> uh, at one point we're gonna be uh, like living together in person longer than we were long distance next year. But yeah, it's almost been two years. Isn't that so weird? Anyway, it's good. I'm glad that he's been here. <laughs> um, we met kind of on Twitch, actually. Uh, he used to be friends with a person that I knew, like from Twitch streaming. Um, just a mutual friend kind of thing. I, I, more so a mutual friend kind of thing, but I like we met like talking in Twitch chats <laughs> is when I first saw him because um, we had the same friends, so. Hey, but no, the horse bed's in use, so I can't use it, that's weird. Huh. Huh. So who here is gonna marry me then? <laughs> oh my god. Twitch is a dating site confirmed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, I know quite a few people that have met people on Twitch and dated people on Twitch. And it's like a four out of five fail rate, okay? In my personal experience. <laughs> Although Shella says three of your mods are in relationships from Twitch, but for me personally and my friends, 
there's not been a great deal of success <laughs> with dating people they've met on Twitch. I am the outlier. <laughs> Most of my friends have not had good luck with dating people on Twitch. I mean, they didn't do it on purpose, you know, but you like make friends and, and communities online and stuff happens. But anyway, yeah, it's not, there's been a, a great deal of uh, unsuccessful is an understatement in some of those situations, but unsuccessful relationships. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, Julia. You meet people and like sometimes like you meet someone on Tinder and you date for seven years. And and then some some people have no success on Tinder. It just it's it's all you know. You find your person, but not everyone's person's in the same place. <laughs> Probably mom, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um, as we all know. But anyway. No way, bunny, that's wild. You met your husband on OkCupid 12 years ago? Oh, that's wild too. You met your boyfriend on OkCupid. That's funny too. You once said the same thing. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I met Dan because of Twitch, so. <laughs> I have a Twitch boyfriend. <laughs> a lot of people meet people on Tinder. Yeah. That's cool. Met your boyfriend in chemistry class? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. On Bumble. Um, working together. Found yours on Minecraft. Yes, <laughs> I love that. You met your boyfriend on Among Us? On Among Us. That's actually a really fun story. On Among Us. <laughs> this is the thing, Plum Bob, right? I, I know that like you, if you've been on dating apps for a long time, it sucks, right? But it only takes one, you know? I literally didn't date anyone until I met Dan. I have been on like dates before, but I, whoa, <laughs> I didn't actually date anyone. Like for real, I didn't have like a boyfriend until I met Dan. So the goat like just jumped upstairs. That was so scary. <laughs> that was so weird. He's not eating again. It's the glitch again. I'm just going to cheat it. If he's going to do that, I'll cheat it. I don't care. LinkedIn profile gets you more dates than Tinder. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so funny. Um, anyway. I like hearing how people meet people. It's kind of fun to hear how they, how they first met and stuff. How do people meet on Minecraft? Well, when you, a lot of times, Alex, um, people are in, like, uh, various gaming communities. It's kind of similar to like, I'm sure people have met their partners through The Sims before, and it's not even a multiplayer game. But you might like meet someone through a, oh my god, Shella, you and Tony met through Pokemon Go? I didn't know that. That's so cool. But you meet people through like gaming communities sometimes, like if you, you know, are if within like um, the same social media spaces because you all play the same game. Um, that's kind of like how I met Dan is because he like had the same friends as me in the Twitch space. Um, but like you meet people through things like that. Maybe if, especially with online games, if you're playing like on like a Minecraft server, I'm sure people make friends and partners through stuff like that. So um, it's cool. <laughs> Cause sir, thank you for the 26 months. But yeah, there's all kinds. Of, yeah, James and Deli obviously met through The Sims, right? Like, um, anyway. <laughs> I was so excited when I learned they were dating. That was the best day of my life. When I found that out, oh, I was so happy. I was so happy about that. I think we all were like, yes. <laughs> that made my day. I was so excited for them. That was so fun. <laughs> that was a good day. That was a good day. You still remember that? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> uh, James, uh, James Turner, previously the Sim Supply and Deligracy are a couple Sims YouTubers. Um, and they are dating. They have been for a few years now, but um, anyway, they're cute. So <laughs> I've known them both for years and years and years since before they were together. So it was just fun when they like got together obviously it's really nice when people are like friends for a long time and then like become in a relationship like that's kind of dan and i were like that we were friends for a long time before we started dating and it's just nice it's cute when you have that like foundation of friendship you know anyway <laughs> i am excited for them 
They're very good together. It makes for a good story too, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway. You met Will on a dating app and you're never friends? Okay, well, Maeve. <laughs> Are you like never gonna stop? I think he's glitch. Oh, that was so weird. Resume the fruit nectar. Why are you doing this? Can't imagine meeting someone and dating them immediately. That's my thing, right? Well, I've never had like, a, I've never dated anyone except Dan. So my like dating perspective is very skewed. I can't imagine like, I've only been on, I'm not kidding. Like, don't laugh at me. Like one date with someone who wasn't Dan, okay? I can't imagine doing that a lot. That makes me feel really scared. Like really scared. I only have ever dated a person that I was like friends with for a really long time, you know? And then like, there wasn't like a, it was like the dating thing was weird. Cause it was like, we were hanging out as friends and then it's like, where's the line? It was like, I don't know, it's just different. Dating is scary. I'm proud of you all, honestly. So, was it a good date? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> With the other person. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I can sense that it was bad. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We've all been there, right? Anyway, um, you are now showered. Where's the horsey? How are you doing? I might, I'm gonna try and like take care of you a little bit to see if we can get your temperament skill higher again. So. You're still friends with that person? No, <laughs> I haven't talked to them in like six years or something. I don't know, that was a long time ago. Um. A very, very, very long time ago. <laughs> oh, I need to get my death flower. Oh, let's do that first. Yeah. Let's go do that. I'm gonna go to Glimmer Brook. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, my goat is still alive, luckily. If we, if we get lucky, maybe my goat will never die while I'm streaming today. And we can wait for next time. <laughs> Did it broken? Oh my god. When, so <laughs> this this person that I went on a date with, keep in mind, I was like pretty young. Obviously I'd never kissed anyone before because I was like pretty young, never gone on a date before. Then I'm dating this, I went on this one date with this guy, right? And then when it's over, <laughs> he I was he like dropped me off, right? And then he goes, I always kiss on the first date. And then unbuckles his seatbelt and like leans all the way over. I have this memory of him like leaning all the way over. He's like climbing over the center of his car. And I'm like leaning as far back as I physically can, like to the side, to the window. Like, okay, it was nice to see you. <laughs> I did not want that at all. But he, oh my God, I always kiss on the first date. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away, and then I never talked to him again. <laughs> anyway, that was unpleasant. Also, hi, Dad. <laughs> yeah, no, that was not, no. <laughs> no. Did he stop? Yeah, I got out of the car, and I left. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the magic room because I want to get a death flower. So, what if he's here? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm sure that doesn't work on people. I'm sure that line does not work on people. Cause it, well, it certainly didn't work on me. But there's no way that works on people. Cause I don't think it'd work on any of you either. Right? Anyway. <laughs> Um, anyway, Shady and Custard, thank you for the subs. All right, here we go. To the magic realm. 
to the magic realm. <laughs> Ick. Your first kiss, you were children, you know if it counts? I think a lot of people had that experience. My first kiss was, don't laugh at me, was with Dan in an airport. Mm. <laughs> and then, and then, I got recognized. Oh my God. Like literally, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 60 seconds later. Are you Lil Simsy? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they were very nice. The person was very nice. I was just really embarrassed. <laughs> The chances of that, like, oh, oh. Anyway, the airport of all places. Well, I was leaving Queen Pasta. I was coming home. So, if only that person knew, right? Buy potion ingredients. So you say it has death flowers sometimes here? Anyway, that was I was really embarrassed. I was like so, so embarrassed <laughs> when that happened. Weren't you also crying? Yes, I was also crying. So it's so embarrassing. It's no guys. It's actually so embarrassing Anyway, oh yeah, and I like obviously um My like I wasn't like publicly in a relationship at this point like no one knew about him Obviously, which wasn't that big of a deal, but like the whole thing was just embarrassing I don't want that person to feel bad nothing wrong with them saying hi to me It just for me personally in my personal life is a it's a very funny story about how how bad that timing was <laughs> but you didn't do anything wrong um oh it has an angel fish ah, that's useful so anyway i'm gonna go back to cottage living where am i going and we'll see if I can get something from here. Anyway. Did I date like Dan for a long time before that? No. <laughs> no, but we dated for a long time before I told the internet about it. Like, like almost a year before I talked about it online. It's difficult navigating that sort of thing. Like, like, um, when you should talk about a relationship when you're like a person on the internet like because i don't know it just it's weird to have to like share that part of things and then it puts them in a weird position and then like i don't know it's just weird so and then you also have to worry about like what if something happens and what if you break up because that's horrible having to go through that like it's bad enough going through it like personally but then to have to like you know when these poor YouTubers have to make like a statement? It's like a notes app, like me and so-and-so have agreed to go our separate ways. We're still friends though, like that. And then you have all these kids being like, I don't believe in love anymore because like a YouTuber broke up with someone. It just, that to me seems like that would be such a nightmare. Like that is the last thing you need when you're going through a breakup is to have to deal with that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like that, that seems so, so unpleasant. <laughs> Also, they don't have what I want. So, no death flower for me. Anyway. Did it help with Dan being a streamer also? Well, he wasn't a streamer when we started dating. He became a streamer after we started dating. But, um, yeah, Miv, I think especially being in a relationship with like a, like, like being a couple that are both like big internet creators seems, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss Dan right now, okay? That's not my intention, but you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, if like they're, if both people in the relationship are both like huge channels, I think that makes the experience really stressful in a different way. And I'm not trying to diss Dan right now, but it's, you know what I mean, it isn't the same thing, okay? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get my sim some food. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. 
Uh oh, replace that. We next time we play this, we can build like a huge new house. We have so much more money, and I'm probably gonna get off stream here soon-ish because, um, frankly, I'm hungry and I want to make dinner. <laughs> Yeah, honeybee, I'm actually not going to stream for about a week. I'm taking like the next week off of streams. Um, this will be my last stream for about a week because of that. I'm going to uh, spend some time with my family and stuff is my plan. So uh, I will not be around for a little bit, which makes me feel sad because I'm going to miss you all. But I did, I have a bunch of YouTube videos like going up every day still. So um, you'll still see me. <laughs> Just not on Twitch for about a week. So... <laughs> Miv, can I show them that? That's really funny. <laughs> Look, at, Miv just sent me this screenshot. It says these people searches led to these searches led people to you. This is people searching this led people to Miv's channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> oh, because you uploaded that short of me killing you in, in Among Us. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> That's really funny. That's also how you found me. Well, nice. <laughs> also, Stella and XD and Sunbeam. Thank you for the subs, everybody. You found Miv off the gallery? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty fun. Morg, I literally, Crinkle Top is my boyfriend. And I tried to ask him for a death flower, but the option wasn't there. I might need more relationship because I haven't seen him in a while, but anyway. Anyway, let me just finish my dinner and then I'll get my dinner in real life. <laughs> Found Miz from a raid? Oh, that's cool. I'm glad. It always makes me happy when people uh, find my friends' stuff through me. That is kind of my goal, you know, when I raid people each day. <laughs> that is kind of my goal, is for people to find cool new streamers, so... <laughs> anyway. Oh, Moonrise! I put this on the gallery. Yeah, it's up on the gallery. It's uh, kind of like a barn. With a house in the top floor, so... Anyway, yeah, when you're dating a mysterious rancher, it, it is hard to get together with them. It, it's it's tough, so. <laughs> okay, anyway, I think on that note, um, I'll probably, uh, probably end the stream about here. I'm gonna miss you all. This is sad. It's always weird when I don't stream. <laughs> I'm so used to being here for like hours every day. It's weird when I'm not live, but I'm not gonna be live for about a week. I will be posting in my Discord server. I'll post like the schedule and stuff for when I'll be back, so. Uh, if you want updates on those things, uh, follow me. Oh, I didn't type it right. Follow, uh, go over and join the Discord server so you can see it. You can put the notifications roll and I'll tag you and everything. Um, and like I said, I'll be posting videos on YouTube. I've scheduled so many YouTube videos. <laughs> I've got them all ready to go up for, for the next little bit. So it is all ready to go. Um, and then I think on that note, I want to go see, let me see who all's live and we can raid someone. Maybe who is also playing Sims? I like that. I like that idea. You know who- Oh, you know who we could go to? My friend Emrys is building a Barbie dream winery. Oh, and I have a recept to share. I want to watch that. <laughs> if there's one thing I love, it's a Barbie build. So let's go over and write Emrys, I think. If you all don't follow Emrys, uh, we play Among Us with Emrys, so you might recognize the name. Um, but they are a very talented, very friendly, very cool streamer. And I think you'll like their stuff. They play a lot of Sims, obviously, just like us. Um, and we're doing a cool build. So let's go say hi. My friend Emrys uses they, he pronouns, just so you know. Um, and we shall go over there and say hello. I'll share my resub as well. I'm gonna put Simsy Yeehaw as my resub message. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna miss you all. Thank you for hanging out. I will see you in a few days. Um, I miss you already. <laughs> I will post the Discord uh, updates and stuff when I'll be back and everything. Um, and I'll see you all later. Okay, okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Oh, I feel sad. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Bye. <laughs> and right now. And stop streaming.